Yo! What's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks now. I am your host, Marshall Green, and we are back yet again for another Knicks watch party on the channel tonight as the Atlanta Hawks make the trip to Madison Square Garden. Unfortunately, we won't really be able to be say F. Trey Young too much as he's not playing, but I think it's maybe still acceptable to say it a little bit. But no Trey Young tonight for the Atlanta Hawks. Also, no Jalen Brunson tonight for the New York Knicks. Brunson, he avoided major knee injury. He has gone through an MRI. They are saying the MRI, our MRI results are good. And he just has a knee contusion. And he's going to be day-to-day -day going forward. So that's good news for the New York Knicks. But no Jalen Brunson, no Julius Randle, no OG Ananobi, no Mitchell Robinson for the New York Knicks as they go up against an Atlanta Hawk team's an Atlanta Hawks team that is struggling right now as they are also without their point guard, their captain, their head of the snake in Trey Young. I don't like to say in March that games are must win, but this is about as close as it gets to a must win ball game. I understand Jalen Brunson and OG and Randall and Mitch are out, but the Atlanta Hawks are a bad basketball team and they are without their best player and the New York Knicks are right in the thick of things when it comes to the Eastern Conference. They cannot afford to lose games that they should win right now as just because of how tight it is between that fourth and the eighth seed. You're still just one game up on the Philadelphia 76ers who hold down the fifth spot and you're only about a game and a half away from the play-in. So, you need to start winning some games. And it starts tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. And you got back-to-back -back games against Philly this weekend. Let's get a dub tonight. And let's go, Knicks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Already 103 people in the building. But only 31 likes. Seeps, I'm no mathematician, but this is bullshit participation. Math ain't mathin' right now, guys. The math ain't mathin'. These are rookie numbers. Get your numbers up. It's let's old, go. Hit the thumbs up like, icon. Do you guys want to be in the plan? It's almost like Seriously. one of those situations. How about this? If you've liked the video, type me. And you know what? If you haven't liked the video, you can go F yourself. That's just about how simple it works. Cool. Look, we're here every game, Seeps. Yep. It's the same people here every game. Yep. Like the video. Yeah. Show some respect. Do you want the channel to grow or not? I know Johnson used in there just. Johnson used probably tapping and untapping <laughs> that like button. Ridiculous. As Johnson, you actually did mention, and a uh, player I wanted to bring up today, Shake Milton. What do we expect? Over or under, Marsh? Let me toss this out there. 13 and a half minutes, Shake Milton tonight. Are you taking over or under? 13 and a half minutes for Shake Milton tonight in his debut as a New York Knick. I am going to say under. You're going to go under? I'm going to go under. Um, I would put the floor at about 10 minutes. There's no way Deuce McBride could play another 47. I, I mean, no, oh. never say never with Tom Thibodeau. If, if there's any combination of player and coach, though, that could – Rip off back to back forty seven point nights or forty seven minute nights. It's definitely Deuce and Tibbs. I mean, Josh Hart's playing forty six minutes a night. Deuce McBride's playing, going to be playing forty six minutes until Jalen Brunson's back. Um, I want to see maybe Milton can run a little backup guard. Like I want to see Milton point. get in the mix tonight. Um, I don't want to say the expectations are too high for him, but I actually think that he provides somewhat of a boost to what the Knicks kind of lack a little bit. Milton can put it on the deck. He can score. Shot almost 40% from three last year with the Philadelphia 76ers. Yep. He's six foot five, 27 years old, has a seven foot wingspan. He is a capable defender. And I kind of want to see Tom Thibodeau bring that out of him. Yeah. Uh, if, if he has the athletic ability to do it, I'd rather bank on Tibbs getting it out of him rather than the other way around. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not going to say he's going to come in and change life for the New York Knicks, but it gives you another player that's at least at an NBA level that you can trust to throw out there for 15, 20 minutes a game while uh, they try to sure up some of these injuries that they're dealing with. 160 people watching, 58 likes. These are still rookie numbers. Hit the thumbs up icon and no. like the video. If no. you like what you're watching... If you want us to keep doing the watch parties and you want the channel to grow, oh, which man. means more videos, Wait, then like Ray. the video. What do you think about my prize picks lineup? Come here real quick. Shout this out to our proud down. sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Just because the NFL season is over does not mean your season of playing prize picks should be over. If anything, it should get kickstarted right now as the NBA action is heating up as well. 
as college basketball seems. We've got March Madness right around the corner. I cannot wait to be planted in front of a bar and a TV yep. for 12 hours straight watching mid-major teams the play. The amount of prize picks lineups we're going to be cooking up during those Oh, games. we're going to be cool. crushing it. Guys, play prize picks. It's easy. It's fun. It's exciting. You pick more. You pick less. You play prize picks. This is the lineup we're rolling with tonight. And if you use that promo code CLNS, they will match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. If you want a free $100 that you could potentially turn into thousands or maybe even millions, do it with prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. So you got more. Uh, is, this a, is this this one you actually sent in? Uh, yes, I did. Um, Steven Chenzo, more than 23 and a half. I think he's going to take about 25 shots tonight. So I'm going to take the more on that. I, I, don't, I don't feel confident about the middle one, less on 14 and a half points for Josh Hart because it could just be one of those games where if he hits two or three threes, he's easily hitting that. But I'll kind of play the odds here with Hart. And then I think Bogey's going to have a big night off the bench. They're going to need Bogey to have a big game. I mean, look, without Brunson, um, you're going to need someone to make up for those 30 points. Yeah. Whether that's 20 from Boyan like he did two nights ago, whether that means Deuce get you 15, yep. someone's going to have to step up and put some points on that score sheet. Play prize picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. 186 people watching, 70 likes. Can we get to 100 likes? Hit the thumbs up icon. As Seeps, February is over with. It is over with. Which means our February race to find the bang god is over with. And our raffle is over with. Yep. But March is here. It was the first of the month. It's the first of the month. It was the first of the month just a couple of days ago. We are making, we are, we are having, we are starting, we are doing a launching. new, we are launching, launching, love that, launching a brand new, a hard launch, a hard launch today. We are going to do a new raffle yep. and a new bang race for the month of March. If you send in a $10 super chat, you get a raffle ticket into our raffle, and this month, thanks to all the real ones, the budget for our, our, raffle, our raffle price has gone up, which means the prize is better. And if you win, you are going to win a signed Walt Clyde Frazier yep. photo. We went with the signed Jalen Brunson photo last time, but we got, we got a little bit more budget now because all the real ones participated. This dude, his legs are ripped up in this photo. This is a this is a beautiful this is, photo. This is this is sweet. This this just screams like eighties, nineties, who, or whatever. What when did Walt play? Seventies, seventies, eighties. If uh, you send in a ten dollar super chat, you will be entered to win that signed Walt Cra Walt Clyde Frazier photo. And as always, every fifty dollar super chat you send this month will be a bang. And whoever the bang god is in the month of March, you will win a custom New York Knicks now jersey. You can choose whatever person you want, or you could let us customize it for you with a little bit of New York Knicks twist on that as well. Aussie says certificate of authenticity, authenticity with that. You betcha, brother. You oh, betcha. Yeah. It is being ordered. Um, it's not yet in here yet, but yes, it comes from a very credible site. And um, we'll have the sticker and ticket of authenticity. Absolutely. So the photo, like the photo is sweet, like what you guys are seeing right now, but when Marsh and I were looking at this, it, it honestly doesn't do it justice. This it, is so much crisper when you see it. This is a sweet photo. Like, this is one I want to have, like, Yeah, in a this is what you hang up in a man cave. Yes, 100%. Um, really it'll be framed. We'll frame it up. We'll get it all nice and right for you. Wanted to maybe look back at it. Um, so, yeah, Walt Clyde Frazier signed photo. $10 to enter that raffle, and whoever... Uh, sends in the most $50 Super Chats this month. You will also be the bang god, and you will get a custom New York Knicks Now jersey. As Eric Trump coming in with a $10, $20 Super Chat, says, let's go, Knicks. Game day. Get excited. Time to show up. Maximum effort. Lose or win, and the fans will appreciate it. Do it for the likes. Knicks greater than the squawks. Still F. Rowley. Let's effing go, Knicks. Shout out to Eric Drump, the winner of our raffle of the sign, Jalen Brunson photo. Eric Drump, I dropped off the photo in the picture frame to our shipping department today. So that should be on the way to you uh, any day now. As Eric Trump comes back again and says, give me one, let's go, Knicks. And then he's back again and says, give me two, let's go, Knicks. 
could Eric Trump pull off as he says, give me a 3 P. Let's effing go, Knicks! Eric Trump trying to go back to back as the, as the raffle winner. This is a tone setter out of ED. He has set the tone. He has set the Art. tone. Right I, now, ED win. Right now, Eric Trump would be the winner. He would be the winner. But we got all of March. We got all of March. Jay Lip says, F the custom jersey. I want the picture of Clyde. I thought I thought the older crowd would have liked yeah. the picture of Clyde a the little bit more too. Really like, maybe I actually could see Carl. Speaking about old heads, I could see Carl getting in on the Carl. Yeah, I don't know, right man. <laughs> Carl, we'll see. I don't so, know. I saw Carl with Paul the other day um, on his Instagram a little bit. Was he? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's in the chat right now. That's hilarious. Freddie Billups, what up, man? When is the rematch between you and Seeps? We're looking at Saturday this weekend. Saturday this weekend. Saturday this weekend is what we are looking at as the potential rematch between me and Patrick Seatman. Uh, we were going to do it this past Sunday, but we didn't have anyone to record it. And that kind of, so you could say F Roly for that. He had to do some heat watch party or something like that. Um, even worse, it was actually a Celtics watch party. Really? It was a Celtics watch party. So F Roly as always. But Freddie, boop, 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 boop. Boops. Um, we're looking at Saturday. We're looking at Saturday. Kid Lamar says, has Seepsman been practicing? A He's been bit. going to the gym a little bit more. A I'll tell you that more. much. <laughs> He's been going to play hoops a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. not going to live that down, guys. S still do you go know do what it. would happen if you fell down 2-0? That'd be bad news for you. Seems like, a, really bad news. It would be really bad. But we're not even thinking about that outcome right now. We're so stuck on the day-by-day -day grind right now. Okay. Because I feel like that's an alternate universe we might just be living in this time next week. We might. We might not. I'm not even focused on that, though. <laughs> oh, Freddie, man. Stay tuned this weekend. Stay tuned this Saturday, the rematch. Be there. Or go after yourself. RTY Gamer coming in with a $2 super chat. Says, let's get this dub. RTY Gamer. My man, my man, my man. What up, Brody? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a real one and always showing love to this channel. RTY Gamer, you are my guy. Let's get this dub. I'm with you. Niall Dimitri. Hi, all. Hi, Marshall and Patrick. Let's go, Knicks. Shout out to Niall Dimitri. Always stepping into the chat with good positivity and showing love to everybody. Niall, we love you, brother. Thanks for hanging out with the real ones. You know what I realized we have tonight? What we do we got tonight? Battle between the, between the Bogdan of bitches. Yeah. Boyan Bogdan. and Bogdan. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get that right every single time. There's no chance. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. As uh, Shake Milton, speaking to the media, says, it's crazy. It was always my favorite place to play. Getting to be in New York is crazy, honestly. I mean, imagine this. You were with the Timberwolves. You fell out of the rotation. Yeah. You get traded to the Detroit Pistons, and you think your season's over. And then two and a half weeks later, you're playing for a team that's competing in the Eastern Conference to potentially get to the conference finals. Awesome. I, I mean, that, that is just life inserted into Shake Milton. Yeah, 100%. That's why, like, all the – like, that's why I do think he's, he's going to be an elite defender for the Knicks. It's like I, I'm not really putting too much stock into what Milton did, on, like, earlier this season just because a change of scenery, a change of, like, urgency, I guess, for a basketball player could really change their game. I think Milton's going to be great for the Knicks. Fun fact here, um, NBA.com put the starters out for the Knicks. Who do you think's the – <laughs> They have Josh Hart at power forward, Precious at small forward. That's why you subscribe to this channel. That's why you subscribe to the channel. Shake Milton has known Nick's executive VP, William Wesley, for a long time. He's there anytime I need him, whether it's to talk, do whatever. He's always there. Milton said Wesley factored into his decision to sign with the Knicks after agreeing to a buyout with Detroit. Also, Shake Milton is a part of the CAA Mafia. He is a CAA client, so kind of knew that this one might be coming. Um, don't want to say I called it, but we absolutely did. RTY Gamer with a $10 Super Chat. A raffle ticket for RTY Gamer. Every $10 Super Chat you send in this month will give you a raffle ticket to win a Walt Clyde Frazier signed photo. It says, Marsh, don't sleep on sleep in the next 1v1. I need you to go back to back, Marsh. I See, I'm not sleeping. Uh, I know who he is. I know what he brings to the court. If anything, he's the one that was sleeping. 
And you know what? I think my game translates to every single time we're going to play. That's fair. My game is like running the football. It translates to any month, any climate, any stadium, any See, game. I, I, I approach the first game with like, oh, I'm going to have an air attack. I'm just going to have an air attack. I'm just going to ride my jump shot. We're playing on a double rim. It's outside. That was a, that was a, that was a bad game plan by, by me. If your new game plan is to play in the paint, I might I might win by more than two points. See, you're oh, you're a free throw you line. And, you're a free you throw in. line and out player. I'm a free throw line and down player. Maybe I have to switch it up, man. You definitely got to switch it maybe, up. Maybe that's what I've been working on. <laughs> he has been gone. He has been gone. Um, love that. Jay Liv says, "Okay, how's this for a comparison between the Knicks and Nets? Brunson would play with one leg. Ben Simmons missing another game." Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't even think it's fair to compare um, Jalen Brunson and to Ben Simmons. To ben Simmons. Yeah. That's not, not fair, either. except the fact that they're lefties. Um, Jay Liv says, wait, did Marsh put Valium in your water bottle the first go-round? What's actually crazy is the wow. day before that, day I went out okay. and drank with Seeps and his significant other all day long, and I was hung over on tequila and purple yeah. nurples. That, that, was, that was your plans. Is that a drink? It backfired on me, too. Ridiculous. The fact that we actually got up, though, and did that was uh, impressive out of us. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I don't think you guys understand how bad it was. <laughs> I had literally, the day before the game, I had never consumed more alcohol in my life. It was a point, we looked at each other after the first two possessions, sun's beating down, we're just like, this is going to be a long time. It was ridiculous. My buddy from back home was oh, here. Was that the, was that the yeah. Yeah. And he's the type of guy that likes to drink tequila on the rock. So that's what we were doing after we took three tequilas and four pitchers full of pretty much vodka and Gatorade mixed. It was a wild, wild day. As Jeremy Chugs getting a little finger spin, a little finger popping over here on the stream. What up, man? I won't break the stream this time. Please don't. We got 270 people watching, only 94 likes. I failed college algebra a couple times, but I know that these are not good percentages. So please hit the thumbs up icon. And if you have liked the video, give me a me down in the comment section so I at least know who the real ones are and the guys that I should, and women, because I know there's some sexy everybody ladies in here. in the here. comment section, and Cullen, I need everybody to say it with their chest. Everybody say, hey, we want a Knicks win. Hey, we want a Knicks win. Everybody say, hey, we Win. Hey, we want a Knicks win. Everybody say, go New York, go New York, go. 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 We're the New York Knicks. 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 Let's go. Let's get a dunk today. Let's go. Let's Come get on. a Come on. Come on. Jalen Brunson, he's fine. He is fine. He's fine. I thought my life and career was over, but we're back. Shout out to Jeremy Chugs, the best hype man in the world. Let's go. Shout out to Jay Chugs, my man. Let's go. Cameron Johnson's like the video. Justin Williams, Titan, Ruben, Eric Drumpf. Gritty for Cam. Castro, Fetty, Freddie Billups, Schnazzy. Cash out James. Duncan. Woods. Do we got beef? Do me and Duncan have beef? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I, mean, he's a I think fan. we got a little beef outside him being a Celtics fan. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, I don't. I, I, I use I, it I, as motivation. I just don't know. You know, he's welcome in the Celtics today chat. I don't know if Duncan's welcome in the Knicks now chat. Especially after he pretty much just called me a fat ass. And that, and plus it's like. I don't want any Celtics fans no. in the chat anymore. Only Anything the is, real ones are allowed in here. I don't want anybody associated with Celtics today. Oh, right? God, no. Oh, oh God. God, no. Duncan, I mean, if you I mean, you could come convert over here. Yeah, no. That'd hey, cool. look. If you want to play with the winning stream, you know where to go. Where you know where to go. Duncan's probably like, what the hell? <laughs> the man commented on the one-on-one -on -one stream, and he said, I got to pull that up. It's still the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. Oh, my God. It's John Musgrove. Coming in with a $2 super chat. Says McBride is breaking out. Yes, Seeps, he he's been good. No, he's been good. I mean, playing 47 minutes last game um, after Brunson went down. 
John, that one nasty in and out move he had, was it on Mobley who fell? Yeah, he 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 made Mobley fall. That was absolutely disgusting. I'm mad. I didn't even notice it when the game was going on. I didn't see the in and out move. I just saw Mobley on the ground, him getting to the rim, but I'll tell you what. One thing I did not expect is how confident Deuce is shooting these jump shots uh, this season. I mean, last year he was, like, scared to even get the ball in his hand. Now this year he's, like, foaming at the mouth trying to get a three-pointer up. So, John, totally agree. Totally agree. McBride is breaking out a little bit. Deuce this year is shooting 40% from three. Incre- I would have never guessed Last that. year he shot 29 and he's shooting them with confidence, too. And these aren't, like, all wide-open threes. Like, he's taking some off the dribble. Um, As a insane. starter, Deuce McBride, in four games, is averaging 17.5 points per game, 4.8 assists, 4.3 rebounds, 45% for the field, and 35% from three. You know what uh, You know what we were saying when he signed that deal earlier on this summer? We were like, why would the Knicks do that? That is a great deal. That's a great deal. A great deal, man. So I found the comment. He says, credit Marsh, skinnier than I thought. Nick's now camera adds a few pounds, dozen pounds. Looks like Marsh is actually in decent shape. <laughs> I read that, and I was like, thank you, man. Yeah, that's like a- Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it was one of those. Um, but Duncan, um, F you in the Celtics. It, that's all I got to say about it's, that. It, it, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, oh, you, you actually look pretty without makeup on. Yeah. It's like- what do you mean? Oh, I wow, you actually look without... better in person. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look better in person. So what up, Duncan? You know, I'll do this. Any super chat we get uh, before tip-off that says F Duncan, we'll take a shot. Taking shots? We'll, we'll, we'll take a shot. Cheers it out to the Celtics. I love that. 300 people watching, 125 likes. If you could, please hit that thumbs up icon. I would greatly, greatly Appreciate it. William Burton in the building. Shout out to the Bang God for the month of February. William Burton, we just placed the order today for the Jalen Brunson jersey, my man. It is on the way here to Chat Sports HQ. Seeps and I will put a little link on it, and we'll get that sent to you as well. WB. Schnazzy says, I can't hear Seeps. Seeps, how's the audio today, man? Do we sound like think- we're in a wind tunnel, J Liv? The audio is money right now. I feel like the audio is money as well. I may be a little louder, but it is what it be. It is what it be. It's popping right now. Oh, man. Lowe says, what shake Milton bring to the table? The ability to score off the bounce. Some length on the, on the defensive end of the ball. Young legs at 27 years old. And that's really about it. Yeah. Shot making ability. Defensive versatility at 6'5". And some young fresh legs at 27. Yeah. And, regular, and another member of the CAA Mafia. Regular season depth. Regular season depth. As Eric Trump, my man, back again. Today's MVP. It's not a Knicks Now stream unless Eric Trump is the MVP. It says only hater chat worth acknowledging is Super Chats. <laughs> Let's go, Knicks. Hit the like. Still, F. Rowley. F. Rowley is always, is always, is always allowed in this chat. Always. Always, always, always. Shout out to you. Reality check in the building says F Duncan with a $2 super chat. Cullen, can you go grab the, t- the Patron and some shot glasses? Because we're taking shots every time someone super chats and says F Duncan also, to start today's show. We have an extra producer in the studio today. We do have we an have, extra producer in the studio today. So we have a deal. $500 total. We'll do a three-way boot race. I Listen, guys. This guy, Cullen, he's going to kick Marsh and I's ass. <laughs> In this boot race. These I don't want to I don't want to put pressure on him. I'm I'm willing to put pressure on him. I've seen it. This dude's this dude's different. This dude's different when it comes to boots. We have a new producer at Chat Sports. He has been here two months. He is doing a hell of a job. And he's gonna start producing some NBA watch parties as well. He's uh shadowing Patrick Seatman today, and we want to get him involved in the show as well. Um Let's just, let's just show Colin some love down in the chat. Can we get everybody to just type CB in the chat? CB. Get CB's CB. in the chat. Let's go. CB's in the chat. And then how about this? Going forward, every super chat that has CB in there, we're taking shots. We're taking shots. Every well. super go. chat that has CB in there, we're taking shots for our brand new producer at Chat Sports. Shot this, to Cullen. He's doing a hell of a job. This is his first impression of Nick. He's now. popping his cherry tonight. He's never watched a Knicks Now live stream. We better freaking bring the juice tonight. What type of stream are we going to show Colin? Because he's watching the Celtics stream tomorrow, and I don't want him saying that the Celtics stream is better than the Knicks stream. 
we we need to set the bar, guys. Wow. wow. Roly stealing the Knicks now swag. What's Jeez. new? What is new? So, hey, I am kindly asking that all the real ones bring their A game today to make a good first impression for Cullen as uh, he'll be watching the Celtics stream tomorrow, and I don't want him thinking that that stream's better than this stream. Yeah. Shout out to Reality Check, though. Reality Check, my man. Shout out to you. Cheers, brother. Let's go. Woo! <coughs> Let's ride, let's ride. That clears the As the bang god, William Burton, a $20 super chat. Shout out to William Burton, a New York Knicks now legend, says F Duncan. It's absolutely F Duncan. I got another tequila shot in me. Let's go. You would expect WB following his MVP month. Maybe be like, take the foot off the gas. I'll let, I'll let the others eat. I'll let the others eat. Mm -mm. There's only one plate. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put unfair expectations on him, uh -huh. but I'm not gonna be shocked if he wins another bang MVP the, in the month of March. The I don't. Is, he doesn't need to do that. No need. But I'm not gonna be surprised. Also, like he has blown out every expectation we have put. Oh on my this God! Man. I remember scouting William Burton in summer league in Las Vegas, saying this guy was gonna be a lock to make the team, and he was gonna give us some nice bench minutes yeah. at the end of games. Then he turned into a role player. Then he turned into a starter. And then he was voted into the all-star break by yep. the coaches. And now he's on his way to winning rookie of the year and being an all-NBA player in his rookie year. We might need a finals MVP out of WB. William Burton has been a legend all year long. He's shown major love to this channel. He wrote me a very nice message as well, which, man, that almost made me tear up a little bit. Yeah, Marsh sent that to me, WB. That was a... Uh... Shout Sorry I man. shared our personal messages, hey. William, but you know what? It that made, made, that made it, me feel like I'm doing something right here. It actually made my day, William, seriously. So appreciate Shout out you to Mr. Burton, that. an absolute legend, and of course, F. Duncan. And then reality check in the chat. Also saying, y'all finna be hammered at halftime. <coughs> it's all about mindset right now. Celtics are down the line somewhere. Oh, a reality check back again, F. Duncan. I don't know how many more I got um, in me. You want to go give me the Patron real quick, CB? Because also Valentina Official said <laughs> CB, F. Rowley, and F. Duncan. All in the family, Seeps. William, seriously, though, that was, uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. It actually made my day, so thank you so much. Man. We're in the Patron zone tonight. Here, first one in the chat. What was the first liquor Marsh and I drank on Nick's Now? First one to get it right wins. Yeah, yeah, that is true. We've been that is true. The, only the real ones were no. Well, we used to drink last year, but we've grown up. That was our rookie season. We weren't twenty-one yet. What's our? Uh, we might need something for the off. I don't know what it could be. Do we go back to the the Hennessy for the playoffs? I don't know if I could take a playoff loss full of Hennessy all that well. <laughs> I don't know if we could. Oh man. As Niall Dimitri coming in with a super chat. He says, let's get Hart another triple-double. Can Let's Josh Hart do it again tonight, Patrick Seatman? What does he have? Four on the year and, like, all within the last? Yeah, he, he didn't have any in his career prior to this season, I'm pretty sure. He's got four already this year. That's insane. Oh, uh, he's definitely got another chance tonight. He's going to be playing 40 minutes tonight, so. As the Hibby was the first. Oh, no, Will, was, Will and the Hibby. Five, four, three, two, one. We're both correct. Uh, we were, uh, we, we used to be fireball boys. We used to be fireball boys until one day, Marsh and I, we were looking at the label yeah. on fireball and we we're like, there's 11 grams of sugar in each shot. And yeah. Like, that's why we get, that's why, that's why we got, that's why I got fat last year. Right, Duncan? Yeah, Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. <laughs> I, I'll never get over that comment. <laughs> I have it right in front of my face. Credits Marsh, skinnier than I thought. Nick's now camera adds a few dozen pounds. Marsh looks like he's in decent shape. If he said a few pounds. A few, few dozen. dozen pounds. 36 pounds. 36 pounds. <laughs> Keith F. Duncan's Cohen. Shout out to the bro god coming in here. The bro god at $2 Super Chat. What up, man? Is Brunson playing today? No. Jalen Brunson is going to be out today. Um, I'm not sure how long he's going to be out, but I think it's going to be a game-to-game game-to-game -game, yeah. uh, game -game situation. 
He says, sh- sh- F. Duncan, shout out CB. Shout Let's out CB. go, Knicks. Shout out to the bro god. Seeps has got that shot for the <laughs> real ones. Juan says, Mars straight up 240. I used to be 240. We're getting closer to 220, though, baby. We're trying to drop the LBs. We're trying to get back. Someone told me I fell off, man, so I had to get back. I actually printed out that comment from Duncan. I, <laughs> I taped it to the top of my ceiling in my room, so every day when I wake up, I see it. Duncan called me fat. So, so you're that's probably where we're hanging at. out in the Celtics today, Chad. He's not exactly. Exactly. Now we're down some weight, man. We're down, we're down a, couple, we're a couple dozen pounds, as, uh, as uh, Duncan dozen. would say. That's hilarious. We do have a new race for a raffle and a bang race for the month of March. Shout out to William Burton for being the bang god in the month of February. And shout out to Eric Drum for winning our $10 raffle. Same rules this month. Whoever sends in the most $50 Super Chats in the month of March, we will get you whatever. Whatever next jersey you want. If you want a custom jersey, we will customize it for you. And Seeps and I will sign it if that's what you want. If you send in a $100 Super Chat, as always, you become a member of our Knicks Now Hall of Fame. We haven't added many members to the Knicks Hall of Fame Um, recently. Yeah, and it's getting filled up a little bit. It's about halfway. Um, I want it filled by playoff time. I want it filled by playoff time as well. And since we do have a new producer in the building today, if we get to $500 in Super Chats, we're going to do a three-way boot race to pop Cohen's cherry here on the channel. We're at 107 so far. Um, we're making good progress. That raffle, though, if you send in a $10 Super Chat, every $10 Super Chat you send in will get you a ticket to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. We'll frame it up for you, and we'll get that to whoever the raffle winner is. Every $10 you send in during the month of March will get you a ticket to win this here photo. I wanted to go this time with kind of just a more vintage type of Knicks yeah. thing. I think if this this would look great in a man cave. Um, How- how much in Super Chats to get you the Rock, the Walt, Frazier facial hair? The the lamb chops? Yeah, and the mustache. The chops and the mustache? I don't know if I could pull it off. Now he's got the goatee um, as Gus Johnson and I Walt Clyde Frazier. Super Chat, I think I would send in $500 on the show to contribute to that. To get the Walt Clyde <laughs> Frazier <laughs> facial if, hair? If we said if we get five grand in a show, one playoff series, Marsh has to rock the Walt Clyde, do you think the chat can get to it? OG needs it. You could pull that off, dude. Tricky Nicky says, I used to think Seeps was about 175, but he's only about 120. Actually, about 195. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. No way. What? 195? How tall are you? 6'1? 6'1, 6'2. Yeah, he can't guard me in the post. I played though. football when I was, uh, I, was, I was at 220 for football. Bad 220, though. Bad 220? Bad Let's do it. The Bro God coming in with a $2 Super Chat says, When is the rematch, boys? The date for a rematch is set for this Saturday around noon to uh, me and Seeps. We're going to run it back. Me and Seeps this Saturday potentially going to run it back. Uh, We were supposed to do this past Sunday, but we didn't have anyone to operate the camera, and we wanted someone to record it and give you guys play-by-play like Rolly did, so we had to push that back a little bit. Um, But, yeah. Must see TV, Will, this Saturday. Must Me, see Seeps, TV. one-on-one. Seeps will try to even the score at a game of peace. Anthony says Seeps needs a burger, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Gab <laughs> says, Marsh, I thought Seeps got fired in the starting sports chat. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said on Giants yesterday when we had Cullen in for you. I, <laughs> I said, yeah, he quit, and he started a new company called Sports Chat. I think I've been fired on Giants now about – Seven times by now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Commissioner Middleton says, if the Knicks lose, Marsh has to say Trey Young is my daddy. Uh, well, he's not playing, so yeah. definitely not saying Seal. that. Seal, we were thinking about that. Seal Pasito, we were thinking about a way to where we could get mic'd up. I think it can with the short. It should work with the short. I know, but then like only the audio will come from that mic is what I thought. Because I don't think you could choose two different mics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll figure it out. But we're definitely going to try to make the viewing experience better than what it was this last time. Yeah. Somehow, some way, we're going to find a way to make it better. That's yeah. what you At guys deserve. At least will be wearing like an actual, the short mic. At yeah. Least, like to make sure. It's Roly did a good job calling the one-on-one game. Says OG. Good to hear. Good to hear. The only thing that was weird, he called it winners or what did he? Yeah, we, he, we when he was he pretty much asked if we were playing make it take it, and he says, "Are y'all playing winners and losers?" Never heard of that. I have never heard of that in my life. It's always make it, take it. That's hilarious. 
Blur says, is my King Brunson playing tonight? Unfortunately, uh, Jalen Brunson is not playing tonight. Brunson is once again out, which means your starting lineup is going to be Deuce McBride, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, Precious Achua, and Isaiah Hartenstein. I am Jules in the building. What up, man? Yeah, Bax Cruz, we're going to have a much better stand for the camera. That way, shaky arm Roly isn't getting everybody sick. Andrew says, Hispanic Heritage Night sponsored by 1-800-Tequila. In. In. What up, Asia? Buffoon Guy says, DiVincenzo, 30-piece today. Knicks need it. Anthony says, I've never heard of Make It, Take It. It's always winner's ball out here in New York. Really? Wow. And Jay Liv said the same thing. Really? Y'all have never heard make it take? Is that what you called it growing up? I called it keeps. Keeps? Yeah. You keeps, yeah. Keeps. You never make it take it. I I've heard make it take it, but like it was like, all right, we playing keeps. And then really? Ever, yeah. Where I grew up in Houston, it was make it take it. William Burton says, is Shake Milton playing tonight? Yes. Shake Milton will be making his debut, debut anonymous says this fake Knicks dude again. If you're just going to complain, why are you here? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Should we block anonymous from the chat? Why for yes and for no? Anonymous is saying this fake Knicks dude again. Should we block him in the chat? Why for yes and for no? Let me know what you think. Seal Pasito with a $20 super chat. You just made me feel old. We always said winners and losers, and wow. there was no three dribble stuff. 1v1 was also a match of cardio. It really is an old head. So the reason we did the three dribble stuff is just because I think it just it balances the playing field a little bit because you can just hold the ball for 20 dribbles, and yeah. you're eventually going to work your way to the right spot. I don't think that's, the, I don't think that's good for TV. Yeah, it's not good for TV. Like dribbling the air out the ball, trying to get to a look. Like you got to be, and it also adds a sense of like a defense to the game. Like you can rattle off stops when it's only three dribbles. And you only in one on one, you should only get one look at the bucket to score. Yeah. If I don't care about offensive and defensive rebounds. Yeah. One on one is a game of getting buckets and getting also, stops. Also, there was ten dribbles. Like we could just get in the post, take our time. I am. Jules says, "What about a shot clock? Shot clock would be good. Shot clock would be live." Um. So are we blocking anonymous or not? We'll let that fraud stay in the chat. What a loser. Fake Knicks fan. I almost cried when Brunson got hurt. Ah, <laughs> oh, these kids piss me off. I don't, I don't think Marsh called a play for the next 30 minutes when Brunson went down. Goat says, don't block him. You're right. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. Shot to Seal Pasito. $20 super chat. An absolute legend here on the channel. Seal, what's up, my brother? What's up, man? See, Freddie, that's also why Marsh's ankles, we need, to, we need to protect him a little bit with this three-dribble limit. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh, for sure. Notorious G says, what's up, live from the rehab? Just back him down all day. Use your size advantage. Oh, Look, was. I don't want to unveil my whole game plan, but we saw what happened when, when push came to shove and someone had to get two buckets to win it. Exactly, Michael. No face, no name. It's always those tough guys that live in the bottom of the basement of their mother's house that don't have a name or a profile picture that talk big smack. We'll bring him on as a co-host. If you just tell us you wish you had what we were doing, and we'll bring you on the show. William Burns says, who won the NBA's first one-on-one -on -one contest? Was that a thing? Was there a one-on-one -on -one contest back in the day, Burton? I don't know about that. Tricky Nikki says, does Marsh actually travel on the fourth dribble? Well, there was only three dribbles. Yeah. Or did we do four? No, no, no. We did four. We did four? Yeah, yeah, yeah four, four. Did I travel? Hell no. Hell no. William Burton says, absolutely. I don't remember that. Uh, I may be too young for that, but I don't remember that. Wow. So in 1972, they had a one-on-one -on -one tournament. Really? It was shown during game five of the finals. Who won? Bob Lanier? Versus JoJo White. <laughs> I only knew that because William Burton just said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Lanier! Yeah, that's funny. Jay Liv says you didn't travel, you went on a hike. You guys are my biggest fans. I love it. 
I thought you guys would be happy for me that I beat Seeps. A, a true underdog story. And now I got freaking YouTube refs saying I traveled. When did I travel? When I jabbed him up and busted the top of the key J for the win? Oh, ups and ups Or when and I took him in the post, reverse lefty leg. Which one was it? Which one was the travel? You're, you're, you're at the top right now, bro. I know. You're, you're at the top. At the top. It's just us. Hey, it gets lonely at the top. It's lonely at the bottom right now. Hell no. There's a lot of losers <laughs> at the bottom. You and Anonymous. Oh, man. Seal Pusito says, I didn't know Seeps was the favorite. Heavy favorite. I don't think anyone in the office of the 26 people that worked at Chat Sports thought I could win that game. Which was dumb. It was a, seven, it was a game to seven. Mm -hmm. All ones. Anything mm -hmm. could have happened. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. next time, though. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Game is underway. The Knicks will be wearing their navy uniforms with the orange trim, while the Hawks will be wearing their white uniforms. It's going to be Capella in the paint, and it's going to be a jump ball between Clint Capella and Miles McBride. McBride playing some physical on-ball defense early on, and it's going to be a jump ball as we start in the first possession. I am Jewel, says Marsh. I'm not going to lie. I had all my money on Seeps. I'm proud of you. Seeps was really talking when you went to the bathroom. Had me convinced. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch that stream. Wonder what he said. I am Jules airing me out, dude. I am Jules. That's why he's my guy. Capella goes into the post. His hook shot missed. Sadiq Bay with the offensive board. He's blocked, and it's out of bounds off the Hawks. Nick's ball going the other way. <laughs> Daryl says Patrick could have beat you. Yeah, well, he didn't. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. <laughs> All right, here we go. Deuce has it. He'll swing it to DiVincenzo. Left wing. Him and Iheart playing a little two-man game. Iheart drives. Blocked at the rim by Capella. Soft take by Iheart. Here comes DeJounte Murray and the Hawks. Oh, coast to coast, Jalen Johnson lays it up and in. One of my favorite players in the league. He's God, really God. come on this year. Um, just what you're looking for in a prototypical wing in the today's game. Josh Hart swings to DiVincenzo. He'll launch off the catch. Too strong, no good for Dante. Unheard his first triple of the night. Johnson swings it to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich back to Johnson. He'll be guarded by a chew in the corner. He'll drive on him, gets to the middle of the lane. Fall away, shimmy shot. Johnson up and in. That's a tough look. That's a tough look for him. DiVincenzo controls by the logo. Swings it to Hart. Gets it right back to him. Comes off the screen. Picks his dribble up, swings it to Hart. Hart to McBride. McBride into the corner to Achua. Back to Deuce. Deuce launches. That shot's no good. Nick's 0 for 2 from downtown to start. Bogdanovich will bring it up for the Hawks. Guarded by DiVincenzo. A little pick and roll with him and Capella. Swings it to Sadiq Bay. Bay inside to Capella. His hook shot no good. Good contest by Achua. Board by Hartenstein. Hart looking to push it in transition. And now he'll slow it down. He'll use this screen from Hartenstein. Nice bounce pass. Hartenstein, Euro into the lane. Shot no good. Too strong. $100 move. $1 finish. That's going to be a fast break here for Atlanta. Capella shot under the basket. No good. Good contest by Ihart. Rebounded by Josh Hart. Josh pushing the pace. Gets it to DiVincenzo. He swings it to Ihart. Ihart back to Chenzo. Off the catch for three. In and out. No good. That one was halfway down. Knicks can't buy a bucket here early at the Garden. Johnson drives on Achua, attacks, baby jumper, no good, but it's going to go out of bounds off Precious. He couldn't haul in the defensive board. Bax Cruz says they scripted it for Marsh to win. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I love it. I love it, dude. It makes me so much more motivated to go up 2-0. Murray throws it into Bay. Bay posts up to Vincenzo. And they're going to call a travel on Sadiq Bay. Nick's Rock heading that way. Hart will throw it into Deuce, who will bring it up. Deuce going to get a screen from Ihart. Swings it around. Nick's moving around the perimeter. And now Ihart has it top of the key. They'll handle, dribble handoff here for Hart. Now they run a little pick and roll. Hart into the lane, shot from 10, no good. Bay with the board. Knicks have been one and done all night long, and they haven't had a bucket yet. 
Murray will bring it up. Guarded by Deuce. He's going to take him into the lane. Murray, jump stop, reverse, swings it out. Johnson's going to drive. He'll pull it from inside the free throw line. That one is good. Hawks up 6-0 early. Tough matchup for Precious. Getting Johnson tonight. DiVincenzo here guarded by Bogdanovich. Gets his feet moving. DiVincenzo into the lane. Right hand hook shot. No good. I heart though with the board. He'll go up with it. His shot no good, but he's fouled. Iheart will go to the line with a chance to paint the scoreboard for the first time tonight for the New York Knicks. Four K says Seep's doing all that talk to get baby in the. <laughs> Damn, dude, you must have been talking big smoke when I went to the restroom. That's crazy. I don't even remember that. That's insane. Iheart first free throw, no good. Knicks cannot buy a bucket. Lid on. Knicks cannot score. Iheart, first free throw, no good. Second one is good. The lid is off the basket. Let's see if the Knicks can try to pour it on now. Four minutes of hoops, and you got one point. And look at Deuce McBride picking up DeJounte Murray full court. Denies the inbound to him. And now Bogdanovich will have to bring it up. You know, Deuce is taking that matchup personal. Because if they would have traded for Murray... Deuce would have been out of the rotation. You know, he's trying to show something tonight. Murray throws it inside to Capella. Capella out to Johnson. Johnson drives, throws it into Capella. His left-hand hook shot off the glass is up and in. 8-1 with eight minutes to go. Hart guarded, swings into the corner. Achua is going to drive from the corner, and he'll throw it down. Nice skip pass there from Hart. And Achua ripped through, put it on the deck, and he rises up and throws it down. Jalen Johnson will control for Atlanta. He'll hand it off to Bogdanovich. He doesn't need much space. He'll rise. No good, though, from three. It was Achua on the board. He'll hand it off to DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Bogdanovich. Gets into the lane. DiVincenzo dribbles through the baseline. Drops it off to Iheart in the paint. And then he gives a backdoor pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Iheart. His push shot up and in. Love the ball movement there from Chenzo and Iheart. And it results in two for the Knicks. Murray going to get a screen here. Gets it to Capella. Now Sadiq Bey has it. He'll rip through. Drive baseline on Josh Hart. His reverse layup's up and in. Strong take there. Josh Hart's going to push the pace. He'll drive and kick. Chenzo spot up three. No good. Dante DiVincenzo, 0 a 3 from downtown early. Johnson walks it up for Atlanta. Swings it to Bogdanovich. He'll drive past DiVincenzo, then throws it up. Deflected by Achua. Stolen by Hart. Here they come. Hart may go all the way. He'll dribble it out. Dribble through, and then he'll kick it back out. I Hart, left wing. Looking to create. He'll drive on Capella. And he picks up his dribble and kicks it back out to Hart. Hart with a little screen set. Throws a nice inside pass to Hartenstein, who misses a point-blank layup. Great look for the Knicks. I heart just smoked it. And now in transition, Atlanta's going to find Jalen Johnson for three. And he's not going to miss that one. Knicks down eight. They've scored five points in six minutes. At some point, we have to talk about a starting lineup change. You cannot continue to dig yourself a hole like this. DiVincenzo, three. Yes! Finally, DiVincenzo knocks one in. You just rely so much on that. Just Chenzo handoff, catch and shoot three with the starting unit. Murray trying to create on McBride. His pull-up three. Good. That's a tough shot from DeJounte Murray. Knicks down by eight with just under six to go. And Tom Thibodeau's going to want a timeout. This is my thing, Patrick Seatman. You play Precious and I Heart for together for one reason and one reason only. For defense. Yeah. You allowed 16 points in six minutes. You are on pace to give up 32 points. And you are on pace to score 16 points. At some point, no matter what you believe, when it comes to how basketball should be played, Tom Thibodeau, you need to take your medicine and understand that this is fucking atrocious and you need to start scoring points. It's 2024, not 1994. And it's also, not the race to 80. It's the race to 105 now. Also, the Hawks are going with Jalen Johnson at the four. He's just cooking precious. He's already got nine points early, four or five. I mean, he's just too quick for him. I'm not saying Bogdanovich would do a better job, but you cannot just stick precious on Jalen Johnson tonight. Um, even without Trey Young, it's still a solid five for the Hawks. 
And also, I mean, they should have gave up way more points. Capel was one of five at the rim already. Come on, man. Shit is terrible. Like, if I can see it from here, I told you three games ago when they scored 19 points versus the Pelicans. Yep. And before that, the Warriors game. You start down 14 nothing, and you're playing from behind all game long. I mean, you're just way too – you're way too reliant on DiVincenzo just hitting that little handoff three or just Deuce McBride or Josh Hart scoring the basketball. It's just not going to work out. You need it's to change the starting lineup. You can't have three. I know Josh Hart is shooting the ball well. Teams still are living with Josh Hart shooting threes, yeah. meaning they're not guarding him. So they don't guard Hart, they don't guard Achua, <coughs> and they don't guard Hartenstein. Come on, man. Switch I mean, it how up. How many games in a row have the Knicks gotten down five plus in the, before the first TV timeout? Good amount. Come on, man. Do you want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America? Check them out. Pick more, pick less. Play Prize Picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. This is the lineup that Patrick Seatman cooked up tonight. He went with the more on Dante DiVincenzo points, less on Josh Hart points, and more on Bogdanovich points for the New York Knicks. You can roll with our picks or fade our picks, but I kindly ask if you're going to play daily fantasy sports, you do it with our, pr our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. They'll match first deposit up to $100. As FGC hit, man, $5 super chat. My man, my man, my man. What's good, everybody? What's up, bro? Thanks for tuning in. Rebel Montana in the building. What up, Reb? What up, Rebel Montana? Hope all is well, brother. Seeps hater says Seeps looks like I heart. Is it because he's white <laughs> and has orange hair? That seems What's up, J.U.? Weird. McBride up top. Gets a screen from Sims. He throws it up top in horror. Oh, my goodness. Jericho Sims rises at Madison Square Garden, and he gets up to the top deck and throws it down. Nice alley-oop connection there. Knicks do make some substitutions. Just one. I heart out. Jericho Sims in. Sims has played good so far. He makes another steal. Here comes Chenzo in the break. He'll find McBride. McBride back to Dante. And they'll slow it down. Jericho has it. Right wing. He'll dribble at Hart, then hands it off to him. Sets a screen for him now. Hart kicks it to an open deuce. He'll launch for three. That's no good. Achua battling for the board, but he was beat to it by Sadiq Bey. Here comes Atlanta. What's up, Terrence Newman? DeJounte Murray handles for Atlanta. They swing it around. Hunter, corner three. Good. McBride up top. Guarded by Murray. Here comes that double screen from Sims and Achua. He'll use it, then walks into a three. That's no good. McBride off the mark here early. Sadiq Bey is now going to post up McBride. He's got a big size advantage, then kicks it out. Now Murray with a wide open triple from straight on. That's no good, but Bay with the offensive board. He'll go with Achua. He's fouled and won. Once again, there's only a couple reasons you play the big starting lineup for defense and to dominate the defensive glass. This lineup does not do it. Why are we fucking playing them? We have 10 points with four fucking minutes left. Come on. Pressure. Give your team a chance to win, Tom Thibodeau. Oh, good. We're down 12, and here comes Bogey. It's, it's really not that fucking hard. Down 12, already in the first quarter. Now you're going to be playing catch-up the whole game. Bogey in, catches it in the corner. He'll post up Sadiq Bey. One-on-one. -on -one. He can get to any shot he wants. Fall away two. That's no good. Ball's loose. Dante battles for it. It'll go out of bounds off the Knicks. And now there's so much pressure on Bogdanovich to save them offensively. Yep. You're on pace to score freaking 15 points this quarter. Hunter into the lane. Layup up and in. God damn. They may get blown out by a Trey Youngless fucking Atlanta Hawks. McBride has it off the handoff from DiVincenzo. Gets in the lane, kicks it out. Dante, open three. Missed it. Just put so much pressure on those shots. 
If he's not hitting those, Knicks can't score. Murray, pick and roll. His pass will be deflected out of bounds. It'll go off Atlanta. It'll be Knicks ball the other way. It's really simple, man. It's really simple. Bogdanovich, hand, and it's not like the fucking Hawks are a big team either. McBride handles, gets by Murray into the lane, throws it out to Dante. He'll have another open three. He hesitates. His confidence is shook. He just passed it up. Luckily, got his own rebound. Then into the lane. Layup good. Strong take downhill. First Down. time I've seen DiVincenzo pump fake on a wide open three in the last month. Down 14 to the Hawks in the first quarter. Do you want to play? Do you want to compete? Give your team a fucking chance. DeAndre Hunter drives his pass, deflected, stolen by the Knicks. The second unit playing better defense than the first unit. Chenzo in transition, yanks it. No good. Hart with the rebound, back to him, Chenzo three. The dude is ice cold right now. He's all of eight from three already, it feels like. One for eight. One for eight. Wow. Hunter drives by Hart, attacks Sims, layup, no good, balls loose. Chenzo hauls in the board. He's out in transition. He'll find an open yes. McBride in the corner from downtown. Yes! McBride nails it, and it's a nine-point game timeout Atlanta. Come on. It's not that hard. Not that hard. Put your best players in the game. 12 of the Knicks' 22 shots have came from a DiVincenzo McBride three. That's insane. Knicks having to fight themselves. I mean, I, I just didn't get the matchup of, I understand, like, you want to stay with the same starting lineup or whatever, but clearly, clearly it hasn't been working. If you want to match up with the Atlanta Hawks, you're asking Precious to guard Jalen Johnson. And big reason why the Knicks are down, Jalen Johnson started off four or five, nine points right off the rip. I mean, besides Capella, <laughs> the Hawks are just running wings and guards. I don't, I don't really think there's a need to run this double big tonight. Just run one big, and now you have Milton. Now you, have, you still have Burks. Like, you can – Kind of maintain without running too big. It really makes no sense. Yeah, Willie, I get it. Like you got one starter, but the Knicks still have enough talent to I mean, I mean Knicks were favorite coming into this game. Josh Hart makes a hundred million dollars. He's a fucking starter. Y yeah. Can we yeah. stop? Yeah. Can we stop? iHeart's about to get paid sixteen million dollars in free agency. Yep. Come on, guys. Stop giving yourself a, a, a crutch to give yourself a, your team an excuse. Because you keep on saying that, and then it's going to be one week left in the regular season. It's like, oh, shit, we're playing to get out of the plane. Stacks in the chat. What up? Why are we losing to the Hawks? Because we started a lineup that features Isaiah Hartenstein and Precious Achua. What happened? Uh, Jalen Johnson was just cooking Precious for the first five possessions of that game. You had five points in the first eight minutes. You didn't, you didn't have a point until eight minutes left in the first. I mean, DiVincenzo also, like, I understand, like, you're almost forced to take as many threes as he does. But, I mean, eight threes in the first quarter is ridiculous. Obviously, stay confident. Keep doing what you're doing, but. Like. How about you adjust? How about you adjust one time, Tom Thibodeau? Seeps looks like Sam Merrill. I didn't get a good look at Sam Merrill. Sam Merrill was cooking last game. Nine-point game. Knicks trail here early. Shout out to the double big lineup. Alec Burks checks into the game for Deuce, and he just got fucking posterized. Oh, my goodness. Alec Burks is going to be on Sports Center for the wrong reasons. Oh, so you start the double big lineup, you're getting doubled up in points in the paint. No, no, that, that, that doesn't make sense. No way. Burks to Bogey. Bogey drives back to Burks. He'll launch a three. No good. Jericho battling for the board. He fumbled it. And it'll be Hawks ball going the other way. Oh, my 
God. Fernando just put his freaking hammer down on Burks. Oh, Lord, this doesn't feel good. Atlanta drives. DiVincenzo foul. Now Burks comes in, gets dunked on, and misses a terrible three. First free throw for Atlanta, no good. Get the BDLs in the chat. The Hawks are running a lineup with Trent Forsett, Forsett? Trent Forsett, DeAndre Forsett. Hunter, Bruno Fernando, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and Jalen Johnson. The Knicks should not be losing by double digits. And here they are. Garrison Matthews. Knicks down 12. 90 seconds to go in the first. 15 points. Thanks, Tibbs. DiVincenzo up top. Handling. He'll walk into his three. His ninth attempt of the quarter. He missed it. Bogey, though, with the long board. He'll launch. He missed it. And also, like... Shocking. A, a thing about basketball is about rhythm and flow and momentum. And once you come out and brick a lot of threes because you only have one guy in the lineup that could shoot threes, that trickles down to the rest of the game. And now the Knicks are just fighting out of a hole again. I feel like they're settling way, way too much. I mean, Demon Chensel's, I think, already shot 10 threes tonight. It should be, it's, yeah, it's nine. One of nine. Two of 11 overall. And then Bogdanovich, wide open three. That's no good. Another offensive board. Good thing so we got hard. a double big lineup that we started. And the Knicks are down 29-15. to 15. Josh Hart making $100 million. He'll go the other way, and his point blank play up is missed. Sims with an offensive board into the corner. Bogey three. That one's good. 29-18. We attempted 15 threes in the first quarter. Hunter has it, left wing, guarded by Bogey, gets a screen, pulls up from the foul line. Good. Good thing we started a double big lineup to play defense. Hawks on their way to 30 fucking points this quarter. I know Tibbs knows more basketball than I'll even think of knowing. But I think anybody that coaches basketball knows it's a terrible lineup. Alec Burks, missed mid-range jumper. Atlanta looking to add more to the scoreboard. They've already got 31, and then Dante DiVincenzo fouled him. Also, that last possession by Burks, he dribbled the ball the entire shot clock and then just walked into a pull-up jumper. I, he, he, he takes more selfish shots than I would have ever imagined. He's unplayable. He is. He's a terrible defender. God, are they at the free throw line? That would be brutal. Yep. Yep. Way to go, Tibbs. Way to go, brother. <laughs> you give somebody a spoon to eat a steak, they're going to struggle. Give them a fork and fucking knife. Give them a best chance, their best chance to succeed. And it's also... I I mean, the players are just settling, too. There's been no, no rim pressure at all for the Knicks at all tonight. As Burks doesn't even get the half-court heave off. Knicks down 33-18. to 18. Way to go. I mean, like, come on, man. You bang your, you bang your head against the wall enough, you're going to start bleeding. I just don't get it. I, I don't, I don't get it.
That's kind of my point, though, Vasquez. They start this lineup because they are preaching defense and paint control. They aren't playing defense, and they're getting beat in the paint. So, like, how about you try something else? Alec Burks, my man. Davidov, what up, man? He says, hi. Knicks don't much with Atlanta. Well, that's the fact. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, they don't match up with Atlanta? Well, yeah, when they have Jalen Johnson playing the four and you have Precious Achua playing the four, you're once again asking yourself, your team to do the impossible. You're asking them to stay afloat in deep waters and you're not giving them a raft or floaties. If I was the coach, what would the starting lineup be? It would be Isaiah Hartenstein, Boyan Bogdanovich, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, and a point guard. I don't need two centers in the game because those centers that you are playing is because you want defense and rebounding. The Knicks aren't playing defense, so they're not rebounding. So why are we taking away our offensive firepower while trying to do something else and you're not? those guys aren't even providing that? Boyan Bogdanovich should be in the starting lineup. I right, just a score bug malfunction. All right, here we go. Second quarter underway. Knicks down by 15. McBride throws it into the lane. Bogdanovich layup blocked. Here comes Atlanta pushing, looking to go up big. And it's going to be an alley-oop to Jalen Johnson. Did they take so? You, so you score 15 points in the first quarter. I had it wrong the entire time in the quarter because NBA's got him at 15 points too. Wow! So you score 15 points in the first quarter. Offensive down, foul. Now you're down 20. Let's just pack it up. Let's just go home. Knicks weren't trying to win basketball today. They weren't trying to win a game today. They weren't trying to win. Down 20 is crazy. It is crazy. Down 20 to a team that's not in the playoffs and doesn't have their best player. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. Now they don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Hunter in the corner. Faces up Bogdanovich. His three. Good. Yeah, it's over. They said... Knicks went from 18 to 15 first quarter points after Boyan's three was ruled a no basket. I'm not sure why that was ruled a no basket. As Alec Burks knocks in a three. I don't understand why it was taken off. I think it was the one in the corner. Maybe he was out of bounds, but I don't, I've never heard of that. Like, you can go back and look if his feet were out of bounds. Knicks down 39 to 18. Bogey controls. Kicks his dribble up. Kicks it to Hart in the corner. Hart's going to drive. He'll kick it to Burks. Burks into the lane. Layup. Air ball. This guy's missed air ball to lay up. Got it back, though. Laid it up and good. I mean, really, guys. It's. They're going to play themselves into the plan. This team was fighting for the two seed last month. They're going to play themselves into the plan. As that pass is going to be stolen by Burks. Burks up head to Bogey. It's a three-on-two break. Bogey drives, and he'll have it knocked away on the layup attempt. Out of bounds. Yeah, I don't understand how that's reviewable. How is that reviewable? So now we, we can review plays at the end of the corner. McBride, three, no good. Now, I don't think the Knicks have taken a quality shot all game. I mean, you're down 20 points when we've been playing basketball for 15 minutes. You're not, taking any, you're not doing anything well. Bogdanovich throws it inside to Fernando. His layup, no good, but another offensive board for Atlanta. And Hunter will have a wide open three. They're Boom! Not, they're not trying. Down 22. Down 22. Down 22. 
Alec Burks, three. No good. Let's just shoot ourselves in the fucking face. Three of 18. Wow. DeAndre Hunter has it. Right corner. Fouled. This is coaching. Get your team ready to fucking play. You're playing a team that doesn't have their best player in a game you must win because you're about to go play Philadelphia twice without Jalen Brunson. And if you lose three games in a row, you're going to be playing in the fucking play-in. Hunter, another three. That's no good. Going to go out of bounds off Atlanta. This is brutal. Twenty points, and we have eight minutes and thirty seconds to go. It's 2024. They're trying to change the rules to make offense harder, and we can't even score. Hart throws it inside to Hartenstein. Out to Burks. His three. Dude, you can't play him anymore, man. Why is Alec Burks on the floor? He can't make a shot to save his life. DeJounte Murray to Fernando. Blocked by Hart. Saved by Burks. It's a three-on-two break. Hart kicks it to Bogey. His corner triple. Good. Nineteen point game. Nineteen point game to a Trey Young West Atlanta Hawks. As Josh Hart comes up with a he stepped out of bounds. The Knicks should cut Alec Burks. He doesn't yeah, deserve to be on the team. Cut Alec Burks and sign Marcus Morris. Eight seconds to shoot for Atlanta. It's going to be Hunter in the corner. Guarded by Hart. He'll drive baseline. His layup up and in. No defense from Hart. And they call a foul on DeAndre, uh, technical foul on DeAndre Hunter. Oh, he was fouled. He's got right to be. I know there's a lot of people in the chat seat saying the Knicks don't have a lot of players. I guarantee you that the players that have played for the Hawks, 50% of this audience couldn't, couldn't name 50% of the players playing for the Hawks. You want to hear three, three of the names that have gotten decent minutes tonight? Bruno Fernando, Garrison Matthews, and Trent Forrest. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are they? You got $100, $100 million Josh Hart out there. $50 million Dante DiVincenzo out there. Your sweet prince, Deuce what? McBride. Boyan Bogdanovich, $20 million. $16 million coming for iHeart. You have plenty of talent to beat the Atlanta Hawks. Especially when they don't have Trey Young. Burks, drives, step back, 10-footer, off the glass and in. DeJounte Murray is going to try to drive on Deuce. Good defense by Miles McBride. He battles over the screen. Good defense again. Forced him to kick it to Hunter. His three no good, but another offensive rebound for Atlanta. Josh Hart was leaking out for a fast break. Need you to box out, Josh. Need you to play defense too because you just got jade by DeJounte Murray. Stacks, that's a great point. Bogdanovich, three, good. Shooting 27% from the field. As Murray blows by McBride, his layup no good. Good contest, but another offensive rebound for Atlanta. And DeAndre Hunter's three this time is no good. Bogey with the board. He'll bring it up. 
Bogey with the screen. Swings it to Hart. Hart. Pass deflected and knocked out of bounds. Twenty-nine points in a quarter and a half of basketball. That's coaching. That's coaching. You can't scheme any open buckets. It's coaching. I just don't get how twenty of the thirty-six shots are threes. Also, I feel like the Knicks have came out and just been, like the first five minutes of the game have just been deflating for the last two weeks. I don't know what it is. I want to get some stat where it's like Knicks in the first six minutes of a first quarter over the last two weeks. Yeah, no fuck. You're fucking playing Jericho Sims at pressure to Chew and Isaiah Hartenstein in your starting lineup. Yeah. You greased up the floors and you're asking why are people slipping? Shake get some run tonight. See what he can bring, but Tom Thibodeau said Shake Milton would be situational tonight against the Hawks, whatever that means. <laughs> well, we are at a TV timeout. I do want to tell you guys about prize picks. If you guys have the prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS, we'll hook you guys up with the first deposit match up to $100. Just because NFL season is no longer with us, you guys can keep on playing with NBA, college basketball, NHL, whatever it may be, Prize Picks has it. Get hooked up today, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Pick more, pick less. Make sure you make your picks at Prize Picks. Check it out, link in the comment section and description of this show. Josh Hart's giving you nothing. He's got a zero burger. Only dude has played with zero points. It's Jason B. Coming in. Ten dollars. My man JB, what up, Brody? Marsh, turn that frown upside down. There are a lot of games left, and four out of five starters injured. And anything can happen. The game is young. There's really not a lot of games left. We have 20 games left. 20 games left. 20 games left. Um, credit to you for, for being more optimistic than me. Um, I do agree that you are without four starters, but I think that's kind of a crutch as well. I, you've, been, you've played this whole season without Mitchell Robinson. Isaiah Hardenstein has been your starter. But I, I, I get what you're putting down, but at the end of the day, if this Knicks team can't beat a team that features minutes from Garrison Matthews, Trent Forrest, Bruno Fernando, that's a problem. How about a close game? How about a close game? Not down 20. Um, but I hope you're right, man. I hope they come back. Anything can happen. But I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling all that confident about this team. CPJ says, bro, I get what you're saying, but we are talking about Tibbs' playbook with the players we have now. Tibbs doesn't have a playbook to scheme anyone open. The star players do that, bro. I, I, I agree with you, brother. I agree with that. Um, got Hartenstein for an illegal screen. As Isaiah Hartenstein called for a moving screen. Um, I don't know. I just don't like the way this is going. And it's been feeling this way for two weeks, two, 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 three weeks. Feels like they're just sleepwalking out there. Um, I know they've been, won a big game in Cleveland, but let's be real. Cleveland also didn't have Donovan Mitchell or Karis LeVert. And it, it, it took some angels in the outfield type of shots to get it done. Um, Knicks, have, Knicks have enough talent to win this game. They have enough talent. Maybe if you don't think they can win this game with this talent, how about not be down 20 in the second quarter? As Boyan Bogdanovich fouls a three-point shooter. I, just don't, I don't get it, man. Crazy. Lord Buddy Bear, what up, man? 
But Marshall, if we don't get at least five or six more Nova players, Brunson won't win MVP. Oh, and as always, F Tom Fumble Brady. Shot to Lord Buddy Bear. First of three free throws is good for Garrison Matthews. Yeah. Okay. Garrison Matthews. Second free throw for Garrison Matthews. Good. Third free throw for Garrison Matthews is good. Knicks down 21 to Atlanta without Trey Young. McBride drives into the lane. They'll throw up a reckless shot. Hartenstein missed the offensive putback. It is just not the Knicks day. As Jalen Johnson gets into the post, his pass stolen by Iheart. Here comes Josh up the left side. He'll be guarded by Johnson. It's a screen from Iheart. Has some space. Josh doesn't take the three. He'll feature an Iheart post up who gets it out to Bogey. Bogey drives his layup off the glass and in. Strong take by Bogdanovich. Next down 19 to the Atlanta Hawks with Garrison Matthews. Sadiq Bay into the lane right by Josh Hart. Terrible effort from Josh Hart. Terrible effort from Josh Hart. DiVincenzo kicks to Hart. Hart to Bogey. Bogey puts it on the deck. Nowhere to go. Picks his dribble up, then swings it to Iheart, top of the key. Throws a backdoor pass to Deuce. Ball was sloppily tipped, and it's going to be Nick's ball. Sloppy possession. Nick's aren't getting any quality looks. Steven Chenzo launches a three. That's no good. Offensive board by Iheart. Nope, they're going to call a foul. Foul on the Knicks. Will the Knicks score 80 points today? Will the Knicks score 80 points today? Maybe they're tired after they didn't play yesterday. Well, get in better shape. Get in better shape if you're tired. I don't want to hear a tired excuse. They, they get paid hundreds of millions of dollars. This is their only job. They did not play yesterday. Knicks back down 21 with four minutes to go in the third. Murray up top gets a screen from Johnson. He stops the foul line and Achua kicks it out of bounds. As Jericho, Sims, and Prush the Chua are back in the game. Jalen Johnson rips it cross court to Sadiq Bey. DiVincenzo guarding him. His step back three, no good. Jericho with the board. Here comes Bogdanovich up the right side. He'll be guarded by Garrison Matthews. And he'll get it to Sims. They'll play a little two-man game. Now Sims dribbles to the top of the key, hands it off to McBride. He'll set him a screen. McBride swings it to Achua. Achua's going to drive into the lane. Lay up, up and in. Strong take by Prush the Chua. Lead cut to 19. They're going to post up Sadiq Bey. He's doubled, and it leaves a wide open Clint Capella. I don't know much about basketball, but I don't need to double Sadiq Bey on a post up. It also results in an easy dunk, but what do I know? Bogdanovich, his open three. No good. That's a defensive foul. It'll be Nick's ball on the baseline. Even Chenzo will throw it in. He'll find Jericho, who finds Bogdanovich, who swings it to Precious. I mean, Bogdanovich passing up open shots to get it to Precious is a decision. Who goes at Jalen Johnson, has some space, his layup up and in. Murray is going to drive on McBride. That's cut off. Sadiq Bay three. That's no good. It'll be rebounded by DiVincenzo. Knicks down 19, 3.15 to go. Dante brings it up the left side. He'll stop and pop. Another three. That one's good. And the lead is cut to 16. Come on. 
I mean, this, they, did they, are they trying? DiVincenzo, two of 11 now. Downtown. Yeah, 5 0 run for the Knicks. 5 0 run. Got it to 16. I mean, it's also like, DeJounte Murray's two of four, six points, three assists. Like, it's not like even the No, Seeps, we can't win. We don't have four starters in. They're, they're beating you with Jalen Johnson, Sadiq Bey, and DeAndre Hunter. Garrison Matthews. Garrison Matthews. Did anybody know that Garrison Matthews was a person prior to today's game? I didn't know who Trent Forrest was, to be honest. Undrafted. But no. Can't win. We can beat the Hawks. We can beat the Cavs. Yeah, way better team. Way better team. But we can't beat the Hawks without Trey Young. It's also not like it's not like this Hawks team is good with Trey Young. They're the tenth seed in the conference. Oh, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Team has an opportunity to do something special, and they have letting it fall out of their hands. They were competing for the two seed last month. See, do you know who was hurt last month when they were competing for the two seed? Julius Randle and OG and OB and Mitchell Robinson. They've just been playing bad basketball. Yes, this is a good hoops. They have 54 points to the Hawks. Just, you're also just relying to. I understand. Maybe it's just like because you have to rely on the three-point ball. Don't really have anybody to create a bucket for themselves, but like somebody's got to do something at the rim. Like you've got to have some type of rim pressure. Maybe that falls on Josh Hart. I mean, the dude's got zero points, three boards tonight, and he's played terrible defense. Then he had a great game against Cleveland, but then you follow that up with this. I mean, also, it doesn't feel like there's any sense of urgency with this team, which is so frustrating because you said there's 20 games left. What if you somehow fall to that seven seed, and then it's like, oh, shit, we might have two games left in this entire season. What if you got to play Miami in the plan? I have no confidence in them. Yep. You can at least try to send good vibes, Matthew. I see what you're saying, but. Matthew, the Knicks were just down 24 points to the Atlanta Hawks in the first quarter. Not I'm not a cheerleader. Coach. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm an analyst and a play-by-play -play guy. I give you the raw, real, what you need to hear. But I, I, I get what you're saying. Um, why, uh, a quote I heard, you want the fans to cheer? Give them something to cheer about. As that three is off the mark for Atlanta, Achua Hall's in the board. DiVincenzo brings it up, swings it to Deuce. Deuce, left wing three. Good! Deuce McBride! Knocks it down. That's a big time shot. Leads cut to 13 with two and a half to go in the half. Here we go. Bogdanovich, right wing, guarded by Dante. Blows right by him. Kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson, dribble drive, pull up in the lane. Shot no good. Rebound by Achua. He'll bring it up the right side. Achua is going to go all the way. Shoulder into Jalen Johnson, and he gets it to go. Strong drive from coast to coast. From Presh to Chua, and the Knicks are on a 10-0 run. Johnson into the paint, gets off a shot. Good contest by Achua, but it's better offense as he banks it in. Lead back to 13, less than two to go. McBride handles, swings to DiVincenzo. He's got it left wing, guarded by Bogdanovich. He'll get a screen from Jericho. Now he's got Capella on him, he's doubled. Knicks move it, Dante Swing, boy on three, yes! Come on, this is what we're asking for! Some juice! Ten point game! Murray up top, swings it to Johnson, he'll be guarded by Boyan. Twelve on the shot clock, he'll pull it out, now he attacks, spins, right hand floater, good! Johnson cooking for Atlanta. Twelve point game. McBride handles, 70 seconds to go. DiVincenzo, left wing, used the screen from Jericho. He's now doubled, late to the swing. 
McBride finds Bogey. Bogey drives on Sadiq Bay. Takes some contact. They don't call it. Shot rejected. Turnover. Here comes Atlanta. Johnson drives, swings. Murray three. Good. Seeps, I thought DeJounte Murray couldn't shoot. Hmm. I remember everyone on this channel told me DeJounte Murray couldn't shoot. Knicks back down 15. See, that's also a problem with digging yourself such a big hole. You just went on a, was it 12 to 2 run? And then two quick shots. You're back down 15. Nobody does a better fake comeback than the New York Knicks. Oh, they, they love the fake comeback. Murray corner pocket on that one. Knocks down his third three of the night. 47 seconds to go in the half. The problem is you had eight points in the first eight minutes of the game. Yeah. That's the problem. You, you showed up to a gunfight with no weapon. You left a gun in the car. You went to rob a bank and you forgot the ski mask. Marco, I agree. Very similar vibes to the Warriors game. You get down big, kind of scratch and claw your way, make it a game maybe in the third, but... It's just tough digging yourself that big of a hole. You literally have to be. You have to be perfect. You have to be perfect. Like a, like a 10-0 run doesn't really do. Obviously, it does something, but. It did nothing. We're, net, we're back down 15. Yeah. It did nothing. Here we go. 40 seconds to go in the half. McBride has it up top. Gets it to DiVincenzo. Comes off the Jericho screen. Now they'll play a little two-man game. DiVincenzo splits the double, rises. Strong take from DiVincenzo who finishes over Sadiq Bay at the rim. 13-point game. Murray pull up three. No good. It's Nick's ball heading the other way. Dante's got the ability to get to the rack. Do it a little more. Yeah, I feel like he's settling a little bit too much. Because they don't have anyone now that can drive, and he needs to do it. They press so far up on him. Like, it's there. McBride has it. 20 seconds to go in the half. About a six-second shot clock, game clock difference. He's guarded by Bogdanovich. They're going to let him go one-on-one -on -one here. Seven on the shot clock. Now a late screen from Jericho. Dribbles into a double. Gets to a cutting Achua, who forces his way into the lane. Layup up and in. Strong take by Preston Achua. It's a 10-point, 11-point game. Five seconds, got a D up. Murray swings. Johnson into the lane, kicks Sadiq Bay, corner three, no good. Terrible defense, he just missed it. Also, Seeps, this is the third time to close a half the Knicks have run the same action. Short side, heavy side of the floor. The ball handler comes off the screen, and the help defender doubles him, and he has to kick it. Like, I, I don't understand what we're doing there. Eleven point game. Could have been worse, Jason. Could have been worse. Oh, Lordy, 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 this team, man. For the people wanting to see Shake Milton, I wouldn't get your hopes up. You were just down twenty four to the Hawks and he didn't play. I don't know if Shake's gonna play for this team. Maybe he benches Burks in the second half and he gives Burks minutes to shake. Um, Boyan versus Bogdan, Mark, exactly. Also, like, I I'm going to say this. Isaiah Hartenstein, if you're hurt, don't play. Because you have been, like, bad the past month. I know you're dealing with an injury, but I'll go back to what I just said. If you're hurt, don't play. Because a hurt eye heart is worse than Jericho Sims. If you're hurt, don't play. I heart is hurting the Knicks right now. Mez Simmons says, should we go after DeJounte Murray this summer? No, you didn't make a trade because you wanted a big fish. Don't go small game hunting after you sold us a lie. 
Go after the big fish like you promised. That's why you didn't trade the first round picks. Stacks, he could play limited minutes, but he hasn't been effective in those limited minutes. So I'd rather him just ice up and get better than put more mileage on the body and not be productive. 18 rebounds to 26 CPJ. Hey, good thing we started two centers, though. Good thing we started two centers. Some stats from halftime. Jalen Johnson, the game's leading scorer. He is dominating this matchup. Uh, he's been one of the best stories in the NBA. Uh, I believe he should be in the running for most improved player. Somehow, uh, he is not. Uh, but he's been great today. 17 points, 8 of 11. DeAndre Hunter caught fire as well. And DeJounte Murray, 3 of 6 with 9 points. For the Knicks, your leading scorer is Boyan Bogdanovich on 40%. Presh Tachua has been the best player in the game. For the New York Knicks, he's 5 of 5 from the field. Dante DiVincenzo, 4 of 14. I think he shot 12 threes. Uh, Knicks need him to be more of a complete player. Knicks need him to be more of a complete player. Frank Serrano, no, Jalen Brunson is not playing today, buddy. He's not. Trey Young, also not playing for the Hawks. DeMar Bowles says, I might take a break. I, I heart might take a break when our guys come back. Seven Aliers says, why did Bogey only play 16 minutes? Because your head coach is Tom Thibodeau. Uh, Tony, what up, Tony? Says, what's up, guys? Check in how you and Seep's doing. Um, not doing too well because you're losing to the Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young. But uh, they played a better second quarter. I thought they played better in that second half of the second quarter. But, but like... You dug yourself into a 14-point hole again. Um, that's where we're at. Big Johnson says, is Shake eligible tonight? Yes. Shake is eligible. I want to see DiVincenzo get to the rack a little more, man. I mean, we saw it at the end of that second half, or first half right there. I just 11 of your 14 shots being threes. It, it, it just becomes, I've noticed, he has became almost easier to guard. When he's coming off that handoff. Like, the defender is just pushing up on him, and then it's just a tougher shot for him. So I've seen his efficiency just fall off a map over the last couple games. Get to the rim. They're pressing up on you. It's easier to beat him off the dribble. You have the athletic capability to do so. But if you have 11 of your 14 shots being from downtown, it is just easy to guard. And I just feel like the Knicks on offense just do the same thing over and over again right now. If they initiate some offense, they go handoff or with DiVincenzo, or then he runs a pick and roll. I don't know. I just And there's a big reason why he only have 50 points. But I want to see him get to the rack more. Uh, I don't know if Josh Hart's playing tonight. He's played 19 minutes. He's got zero points, two boards, three assists. Just, I just You're making $100 million. You got your top three players out. Dude, show up. Get to the rim. Like, add some sort of rim pressure. I just thought he's just been kind of – and he also is – he got cooked on defense multiple times tonight. I think this is one of, been, one of his worst first halves we've seen. But Yeah, also, jo Josh Hart's been terrible. You were kind of saying it. Well, if he's hurt, don't play like you were saying. But what happened? We were talking about Hart and Steiner, Mitchell Robinson. Who starts when they come back? If this is the I heart you're getting, it's not I'm playing Mitchell Robinson ahead of him, and I'm playing Presh Tachua ahead of him. A hundred percent. I'm playing Mitchell Robinson 30 minutes a game. Yeah, I heart. If you're hurt, sit down. But again, he played another 10 minutes. I'm, it's just weird. He's been playing this like 20 to 25 minute mark, and I don't even. I can make an argument. Jericho's been better. But When's the last time like he had he had a block at the rim or something? Like when you felt him, like yeah. I thought Precious, I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's been getting to the rim. He's the only player on the Knicks today that has gotten to the rim. The Knicks got eight field goals, or they got 20 total, eight from downtown. So you got 12 other field goals, five of them are from Precious. We're going to start the second half with the Chua and Hartenstein in the game. Yeah. Down yeah. 11. Miles McBride, I thought, did a good job defensively. They need him to score the ball more. Um, yeah. Two of seven and two of six from three. Also, only one shot. That's not a three from Deuce. Get to that mid-range jumper that you like and get to the rim. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I like the six assists, and I like the defense. I know Deuce is what he is. Um, you know what I hate, Seeps? I'm sorry. And I'm not, I'm not mean to call people out. You can't have it both ways. You can't be happy when the Knicks win when they're shorthanded and up-talk their players. And then when they're losing with those same players and the same players are out, it's a crutch of, breathe easy, friends. The Knicks are missing four super good players that can still fight like this. Fight. They played Bahard for half a quarter. Yeah. You can't have it both ways. It's like saying this. You can't say Jalen Brunson is a 1A, and then we, when they lose, it's, well, he doesn't have enough help. Yeah. 1A's get it done. You can't be on both sides of the it, fence. It's also like the Knicks. Let's just say if they had a team construction like the Celtics, where it's like clearly like their top five players are 90% of their production. The Knicks have a complete team. They should be able to manage and kind of maintain a little bit without three of their starters tonight. But they've got Josh Hart, DiVincenzo, Hartenstein, Bogdanovich. You've got four dudes who are going to be in your rotation. At least. You're going to run an eight-man playoff rotation and those four guys are in. Yeah. I understand you're missing the dudes that really are the engine. Got to, got to get more. I'd come out and I would start bogey and I would bench. I'd bench iHeart. I'd go at you at I the five and I, and I I honestly wouldn't play iHeart the rest of the game. I wouldn't either. Um. Is he getting out-rebounded, too? Yeah, I would just look at him and be like, I, heart, I, I appreciate you playing through the pain, but you're doing more harm than good. And if you're not going to be – if you're going to be this player in the playoffs, I honestly don't know if he could play. Yeah. Like, get healthy. We know how special of a player you are when you are healthy. So get there. Um, clearly, the Achilles injury isn't going to go away if you keep playing through it. And I respect the hustle, and I respect the heart, and the fight, and the want to play through it for the New York Knicks and the Knicks fans. But sometimes it takes another coach to sit him down and be like, dude, let's think about the big picture right now. Yeah. What are you really doing on the court? Um, yeah. Because if you're getting this guy in the playoffs, you're in trouble. I mean, what's it like? I just remember before this injury, man, like you felt him every single possession. Yeah. And like one of five from him? Come on, man. So I'm with you, Will. I'm with Will. Will, I'm with you. How I don't feel confident giving him sixteen million right now. That's what it sounds like. As the Bronx boy, ten dollar uh, super chats. Did you guys already discuss how Marsh got smoked by King Cullen at a boot race <laughs> last night? We did, and also the Bronx boy, we got King Cullen in the building tonight. Oh yeah, King Cullen is in the studio hanging out with the the fellas. Chat to Cullen. Tony says uh, there's a reason why the only jersey is a Hartenstein jersey, but yeah, I agree. He has heart, but if he's not 100%, not going to play consistent minutes, he's not going to be good. Yeah. Um, we know how special of a player I heart is. Like, I think yeah. everyone that watches this channel faithfully and has an understanding of how I feel about this team, how much I value Isaiah Hartenstein. But at the end of the day, a one-legged Isaiah Hartenstein is not the player the Knicks need right now. And I'm not sure if rests helps this injury or he just needs off-season surgery or what it is, but... However, however they have to go about it, the Knicks need him to be better. If yeah. that means taking a week off, if that means taking two weeks off, if that means whatever, um, th they need him out there, healthy and one hundred percent. Oh yeah, John Pettit. I, I think I'm coming to the understanding that if Isaiah Hartenstein is going to cost the Knicks fourteen or fifteen million dollars. I don't think they, they they accept that contract. I don't think they would. Because Precious is uh, a free agent as well. So I, I think only one of those guys is going to be back next year. I could see that, Tony. I could see that, Tony. Um, thing is, we're running out of time. Yeah. you got 20 games left. After tonight, 19 games left. I yeah. believe this is game 62. And also... 
you said it earlier, like the next two games against Philly, they're both at home. If if the way it's looking right now, if you drop those two games, Philly's going to take a – I mean, they would take a two-game lead over the Knicks. So you actually got Orlando and then Philly. Haven't beat Orlando this year. It's Orlando, Philly, Philly. Orlando, Philly, Philly. Wow. I said at the start of the show, I don't want to call games a March a must win. This was a must win. If you want to get to where you want to be in the Eastern Conference standings, to where you give yourself a fighter's chance to get to the conference finals, uh, tonight was a must win. So Orlando's Friday? Orlando's Friday and then, yeah. So right, that game, if the Knicks drop it to Orlando, Orlando would jump them in the standings. Oh, I have no confidence in the Knicks beating Orlando. They haven't done it one time this year. Um, they are a horrible matchup for us uh, between Paolo and Franz Wagner. The only yeah. person we have that can guard them is OG Ananobi, and he's still out. So Orlando's schedule next five games. they got the Wizards, Knicks, Pacers, um, Nets, Raptors twice, then the Hornets. Knicks to, and you know what? Three games next week for the Knicks after the double Philly games. They go to Portland, which is easy. Then it's in Sacramento, in Golden State, in Denver. You want to be peaking at the right time of the season. Knicks are going down a water slide. They just got to stop with this three-point shooting, dude. That, I, I think that's the thing that's driven me the most crazy today. Just rely too much. Yeah, I agree. I am, Jules. The lack of a backup point guard is still evident. Still evident. Alec Burks has given you nothing. I prayed Shake Milton can be that guy, but... And maybe wishing on wishing on a shooting star. Agreed, J Lib. Hundred percent agreed, J Lib. Um, that might be a twenty point loss. Tomorrow, I, I am aware the game is not over. I am aware. That's why it says halftime, and we're still here. I'm aware. Um, <laughs> exactly, William Burton. Randall and OG need to heal faster. That's the issue here. They're, they're healing too slow. C-P-J says we can't sit iHeart, y'all. Tibbs needs him for his two-center lineup. Exactly. The lineup that's supposed to dominate on the glass and bring defensive intensity. Except you've given up 61 points to the Atlanta Hawks that don't have Trey Young, and you're being out-rebounded by a team that started Jalen Johnson as their power forward. Bruno Fernando. Bruno Fernando. Garrison Matthews. Something for set. Trent. If you're going to do it, you got to start off good in this third quarter. Here we go. Knicks start with the ball. DiVincenzo has it right wing. Same starting lineup. Achua gets down low. His layup up and in through the contact. Precious Achua starts the second half in a positive way, bringing brute force to the cup, and he lays it up and in. Come on. Precious wants this. He's the only person that wants it. Achua, free throw, good. Eight-point game. Come on. Johnson will bring it up. Achua will try to guard him. They're going to give it to Capella, who gives it back to Johnson. He's at the top of the key beyond the arc. He'll get it to a cutting Murray. Murray at the foul line, puts it on the deck, swiped away by Hartenstein, but he gets it back. Hawks moving it around. Bogdanovich has it. His pass deflected. Two on the shot clock. Murray didn't see it. Bogdanovich deep three, no good, but an offensive rebound for Capella, who tips it up and in after a second offensive rebound. If you're going to play I Heart Nichua, you must rebound the basketball. That's your only advantage. Do it. Come on. Hart, right wing, turned it over. He has been awful tonight. His sorry ass worried about the podcast. 
Sadiq Bey layup in transition. Shot block. Josh Hart dropped it. And then another block, but it's a foul. It's really simple. Box out. Yeah, I am drool with it. Josh Hart. He just doesn't seem in it today. He just kind of seems like he's loafing around. He's got zero points, three assists, and two rebounds. Clearly not, not, not being active. Knocks down both. Knicks back down by 12. McBride drives. Gets stopped by Sadiq Bey. Throws it out to Iheart. Iheart's going to dribble hand off to DiVincenzo. Genzo, nice inside pass to Hartstein, who throws it down. Ten-point game. Murray will bring it up. Guarded by Deuce. Going to dribble to the right. Swings it to Johnson. Johnson off the screen will drive his layup up and in. Horrible defense by the Knicks. Horrible defense by the Knicks. That's effort. That ain't personnel. Josh Hart controls. Drop off pass to Ihart. Ihart inside to Achua. There's a little bit of a tangle up. Achua comes out with it, then gets it to McBride. McBride's going to drive on Murray. Can't get by him. Takes a tough floater. That's no good. I remember DeJounte Murray was told, I was told by people DeJounte Murray couldn't play defense anymore. He's got Miles McBride in hell right now. Bogdanovich, left wing, swings it to Johnson. He'll pump. Achua jumps. Then he'll kick it to Bay. Bay, corner three. Slow close out from Hart, and it's a three. Knicks back down by 15. McBride swings to Chenzo. Chenzo, deep three. No good. Horrible shot. Awful. Horrible shot. That's awful. And then he doesn't get back on defense. And Murray misses the layup. Rebound by Ihart. It's a fast break. Hart leading the way. He's got a chew to his left. Hartstein to his right. He gets it to a trailing McBride for three. There. Good. Even right, right there, Hart's not looking for a signature move. He had it. 12-point game. Big three by Deuce. Capella. Going to drive on Hartenstein. Loses dribble. And then he gets it back. Throws it out to Sadiq Bay. 10 on the shot clock. Hart guarding Bay. He'll dribble to the left. He's now got Hart on his hip. He'll take him into the post. Five to shoot. He'll look to take a fall away. Push shot. No good. Rebound by Achua. Strong defense there by Josh Hart. Another fast break opportunity. Hart missed Miles McBride. Now he'll run a pick and roll with Ihart. Gets to the foul line. And he turns it over. Does Josh Hart want to play basketball today? As McBride gets back in transition and gets a steal. Another fast break, and DiVincenzo threw it away. The Nova boys are playing horrible basketball again. And they don't get back on defense. Oh, Capella stripped by Ihart. And then Dante DiVincenzo watches it go out of bounds. Why are we playing like the dumbest team in the NBA today? I mean, you just got to steal, and you watch to go out of bounds, Dante. Bogdanovich has it in the corner. He'll post up on Dante, and then, oh, oh my God, Achua! He met Murray at the rim and sent it the other way! Deuce to Dante! Chenzo three! Good! It's a nine-point game! Have the Knicks finally woken up? All starts with Achua's block on defense. Johnson hands it off to Sadiq Bay. Oh God, Hart dude. goes under the screen. Horrible defense again. Luckily, he missed it. Hart with the long board. He'll walk it up. He has it right wing. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. Picks his dribble up. Gets it even Chenzo. A nice into the lane. Layup for Chenzo. Smoked. Murray will walk it up. Blows right by DiVincenzo, and he gets a foul. Man, it would have been nice to have a player like that. Achua playing his ass off tonight again. And we got Josh Hart fucking going through the motions. Even Chenzo playing like a bum as well. Make too much money to do that. Make too much money, Josh Hart. You're paid like a you're paid like you're paid like a star, bro. 
$100 million. You can't take nights off. First free throw for Murray, good, with 7.25 to go. Second free throw, Murray, good. Nick Stack back down by 11. Achua tries, forces his way into the lane, goes up with the layup, no good. Iheart can't even jump. Wow. Murray in transition, fumbles it. It'll be a turnover. Good defense by Deuce. Hart brings it up right side. Guarded by Sadiq Bey. Gets a screen from Hardenstein. Switches with Capella. Nick swing it around. Dante DiVincenzo has it. Kicks to Hart. Hart, three. Not even close. Such a bad miss. It was a long board. Recovered by Deuce. He gets to Chenzo. Chenzo into the lane. Smoked layup. Hart, battle. Hardenstein battling for the board. He gets it. Dante swings it out to Josh. Josh will stop and pop. Foul line jumper. No good. He is killing you. Josh Hart is killing you. Murray swings. Johnson, three, good. It all starts because of the lack of defense from Josh Hart. Josh Hart's yep. guarding DeJounte Murray. He gets blown by. Miles McBride has to help off, which leaves Johnson wide open from three, and he knocks it down. Josh Hart, if you don't want to play basketball, sit down. If you don't want to play basketball, sit down. Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. It's hard to win when you got a guy getting twenty million dollars and he's been a negative player. Especially when you don't have your top four players. That's exactly right. Marsh be harsh? I don't know what that means. Guys are playing too many minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. William Burns says, Hart not playing confident tonight. Yeah, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good. Nick Davidov says, we lost this game. A lot of fans already left. Yeah, harsh comments. What, what about him? What about him? You're down 14 to the Hawks without their best player. I don't think anything I'm saying is too harsh. I'm holding, I'm biting my tongue. Connie and Pepper, they find a player to blame every loss. Yeah, that's usually the way things work. When your team loses, it's probably because some players that played. Oh my God. Give Milton a chance tonight. We got a run left in this, William Burton. I hope you're right. Been a lot of fake runs today. Down 14. Still trying to climb out of the hole that you had in the first quarter um, because of the lousy per, uh, preparation. As Dante DiVincenzo drives, he's fouled.
Hartenstein hands it off. Chenzo, three. Oh, my God. That one was halfway down, and it popped out. Corner, three. Johnson. That one's off the mark. Rebound by DiVincenzo. He'll throw it up ahead to Josh Hart. Hart, not even looking to do anything. He's playing like a center to dribble handoff. He'll line up a three here. Good! Welcome to the ball game, Josh Hart. Welcome. Now you've earned your game check. You showed up. How about you stay plugged in? Murray has it right side. Guarded by Deuce. Going to get a screen here from Capella. He throws it in the corner to Garrison. That shot blocked by DiVincenzo. Rebound by Achua. He'll bring it up. Gets it to Deuce. Deuce is going to have it top of the key. He's guarded by Murray. Swings it in the corner to DiVincenzo. Chenzo to Hart. Hart's going to drive into the lane. Has it stolen. It'll go out of bounds off Atlanta. Hartenstein will sub out. Jericho Sims will sub in. That motherfucker, Tom Thibodeau, is stuck in his ways. DiVincenzo, three, not even close. Hunter with a rebound. That stubbornness got him fired from a couple of jobs. He's got to adjust someday, or he'll just be who he is. Murray, bounce pass to Fernando. Fernando out to Matthews. Matthews swings wide open. Sadiq Bay three. He missed it. Hart knifes him for the board. Josh Hart has it left wing. Swings it to Deuce. Deuce guarded by Murray. Here comes a screen from Sims. Deuce uses it, but he's cut off by the help because there's no threat of a rolling Jericho. They're going to give it to Achua. Achua in the paint. His spinning left hand shot up and in. Prestichua has been your best player tonight by far. Yeah. 7 of 8, 15 for Precious. Nine-point game. Murray and Bay, they play a little game of catch. Murray now guarded by McBride. Left side, he spun, and he dropped him. It's an offensive foul. Nick's ball going the other way. Close this quarter. You can win these last four minutes and 22 seconds. You're going to give yourself a chance here in the fourth. McBride, bring it up right side. And he's going to get a fast break lane to the layup, and he throws it down! Deuce McBride turns on the Jets! He blows by DeJounte Murray, and he throws it down! Seven-point game! Got to get some stops here. Murray, off the screen, gets it to a cut. He gets an offensive foul again! Fernando moving when he sets a screen! Nick's ball heading that way! Deuce got up on his <laughs> Running full speed, puts it behind his head. Hey. Deuce McBride and Achua doing everything they can. Achua hands it off to Chenzo. Chenzo back to McBride. He swings it back to Chenzo. He's going to drive. It's in the lane. Kicks it out to Hart. Hart to Deuce. Deuce. Jab step. Pass to a cutting Achua and he dropped it. Bad pass. Stolen by Hart. Hart's going to go all the way. He was fouled. Thank God they finally called it. Hart will go to the line for a pair. Got a chance. Hart going to the line for two. Chance to cut it to five. Motherfuckers are playing Bruno Fernando and Garrison Matthews and saying we don't have enough talent to win. Come on, give yourselves more credit than that. These dudes are G-leaguers. Got Justin Forsett's brother playing for them. Come on, man. Take the tail out of your legs and be a big dog. Shout out to our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. If you ain't scared, go win some money over there. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. As it looks like Atlanta is challenging the call on the floor. Fernando stayed vertical, but when he came down, he did hit the right wrist of Josh Hart. It'll be interesting to see how the refs call that one. But PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Pick more. Pick less, play prize picks. The number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Win real money and deposit it and cash it out of your account whenever you want. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. Win big money, pick more, pick less, play prize picks. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS promo code 
CLNS. Dick Davidov saying McBride is him. Deuce has had a big time highlight both past of the, uh, the uh, past two games. Shout out to Davidov in the building. What up, Davidov? What up, man? Everybody drop an eyeball emoji in the chat for Davidov. Let's go. See, this is my thing as well. And, and, and I, am a, I am a victim of this as well, Patrick Seaman. I love to say this team competes. If you, didn't, if you would have competed in the first, first quarter and a half, you wouldn't have to dig yourself out of this hole. Yeah, because you've been pretty much tied with them the rest of the way there. Like, Come out ready to play, and you won't have to dig yourself out of a hole with unnecessary effort. Eyeballs emoji in the chat for Nick Davidov. He's at the game at MSG. Said a lot of Knicks fans left. Frank Serrano in the chat. We right. haven't had a Frank Serrano showing in quite a while. Frank? Serrano. I was surprised Frank Serrano didn't get in on our bang challenge for the month of February. Yeah, I was uh, I was a little disappointed. Me too. Maybe he gets in for March. Maybe he gets in for March, and he can win himself a custom New York Knicks now jersey. Shout out to Frank. Diehard Knicks fan says, win or lose. Y'all don't leave until it's over. Win or lose. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of leaving games early that I bought tickets to. I would never do that. As the, re the reviewed call of Josh Hart going to the line will stand. Hart's got two free throws coming up. Hart, free throw. No good. This fucker stinks. He's got to be the best, worst player of all time. Yeah. Like, he, his swings are so, so extreme. Second free throw for Hart. Good. He's also been terrible from the line the last month. Yeah. Six-point game. 3.30 to go. Murray will bring it up. Guarded by Deuce. Gets a screen from Hunter. He's cut off by Hart. McBride gets back to help. It's going to be Jalen Johnson driving on, Mc, on Achua. Excuse me. He's cut off. Murray catch and shoot three. No good. Jericho battling. But another offensive rebound for Atlanta. Now it's going to go out of bounds. And they're going to say it's Nick's ball. Six-point game. Possession with the Knicks. Can they get it to four? McBride has it. He'll feature Hart now. Hart's pass almost fucking stolen. Wake up! Get this guy some freaking breast milk from his baby mom or something. Let's go! Jesus Christ! He's sleepwalking out there! McBride will throw it in. 13 seconds to shoot. He'll get it to DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Bogdanovich. Old dribble move from DiVincenzo who drives and his pass is stolen. And it's going to be Murray in transition. Lays it up. No good. He's fouled. DiVincenzo's pretty fucking dumb at times too, man. 5 of 20 today. Like the turnovers, the bad passes. I go back to the end of that rock at the end of that Pistons game. What the hell was that pass? I mean, come on. That's $150 million between those two guys. You owe this team more. Murray makes the first. And he missed the second. Rebound by Sims. Seven-point game, three minutes to go in the third. McBride, Sims, Achua, Hart, and DiVincenzo are in the game. Josh Hart swings to Achua. Achua handoff to Dante. McBride has it right wing. Gets a screen from Sims. He's cut off. They're blitzing every screen. Now McBride kicks it out to Chenzo. Chenzo into the lane. Takes a contested layup. He's fouled. Yes, sir. Love Dante DiVincenzo getting downhill. Put the ref in a spot where he's got to make a call. Go to the line for a pair. He 
DiVincenzo, free throw, good. Bogdanovich will check in for New York. It'll be a Chua sitting down. I don't know how long you can sit a Chua. Yeah, seriously. I wouldn't mind sitting Josh Hart and putting in bogey. I mean, Precious and Deuce might have to play all 12 in the floor. Five-point game. Two and a half minutes to go. Knicks got to play defense. Bogdanovich, three. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Josh Hart bringing it up. He may go. He'll throw it inside to Bogey. Good pass. And he's in one. Bogdanovich off the feet from Hart. Finishes through the contact. And he's going to the line for an and one opportunity. Great pass by Josh Hart right there. Excellent finish by Bogdanovich. Let's go, Knicks! We need this one, Boyan. His free throw. Good! Two-point game. Two minutes left in the third. 13-1 to run for the Knicks. Forrest has it. Drives. Kicks it out to Hunter. Hart guarding him. Good pro ball pressure. Bogdanovich swings it back to Hunter. He'll drive and then swing. Johnson does swings and spins into a double team. He almost got it stolen. His 14-footer, no good. Rebound by the Knicks. Here comes Josh Hart. He'll go all the way. Layup, up and in. Josh Hart ties it up at 76. Let's go, Knicks. That's what I'm talking about. Forrest has it, left side, guarded by DiVincenzo. This is the effort we want all the time. Great ball pressure. Forrest drives, layup, up and in. Tough shot by him. Knicks back down by two. Hart off the screen from Sims, drives, layup, up and in. Welcome to the game, Josh Hart. One minute to go. Close the quarter. Forrest up top, guarded by McBride. He'll get a screen from Hunter. McBride fights over it. Hart switched on to him. This is great defense. Five on the shot clock. Ball's deflected. Johnson gets it back. Foul line, Jay. Good. They defended well for 22 seconds, and then they allowed an easy bucket. Back down by two, 45 seconds. McBride has it. He'll get it to Bogdanovich, guarded by Forrest. This should be a bucket. Bogdanovich pass, knocked out of bounds by Atlanta. It'll be Knicks ball underneath the cup with 10 seconds to go. McBride will throw it in. He'll get it to DiVincenzo in the corner. Guarded by Bogdanovich. Gets a screen from Bogey. Tries to split it. And they're going to say he went out of bounds. Turnover. Twenty-five seconds to go. About a ten-second shot clock, game clock difference. Forrest has it. He'll drive on Hart. Spins back to his left. Pump fake. Kick out. Bogdanovich three. Good. Back to a five-point game. Eight seconds to go. Look, they're going to run a pick and roll. He's going to dribble into the help every time. Dribbles into the help. And now McBride's got to be great. Kicks it. Bogey, three at the buzzer. In and out. In and out. Five-point game. Five-point game. Get the fours in the chat. Over 1,000 people watching. You want the Knicks to win. Give me a four in the chat. Shout out to Ty Johnson, Asia, Julian, Lynn Dior, Jairo Castro. Smart answer. Stacks in the chat as well. I have to run precious this whole fourth quarter, man. 15 points, five boards tonight, seven of eight from the field. The only one that's getting downhill, I feel like, for New York. If 
finally felt Josh Hart's impact there at the end of that fourth quarter, or third quarter, and the Knicks started to play well. Funny how that works, huh? Yep. I mean, already now he, he was floating at like two points, three, three assists, two boards for like the whole game. Now he's up to eight, five, and five. No Burks there in the third. Tibbs, I feel like Tibbs has been starting him in a lot of these fourth quarters. So you're curious to see if he goes to him. Jonte Murray only 3 of 10 tonight. I thought Deuce has done a great job on him. Jalen Johnson's been the killer, though. Yeah. 11 of 16, 24. I don't – they've been going with Johnson and Hunter at that 3 and 4. Could be crazy, but I would rather see Hart guarding Johnson with a Chua guarding Hunter. Yeah. Uh, at least in this fourth quarter. Let's throw another body on Johnson. I'm try to throw him off here. See him to miss a couple shots in the fourth. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. We got a thousand people watching, only 290 likes. The math, it ain't mathin'. So please hit that thumbs up icon if you could. Would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Here we go. Fourth quarter underway. Atlanta will start with the ball. It'll be DeAndre Hunter in that left corner, guarded by Hart. He'll face him up. Shot no good. It's going to be a board for Atlanta. And then Johnson throws it up, and Hunter throws it down. Back down seven. McBride controls. Guarded by Hunter. Gets into the lane. McBride into the corner to Hart. Hart to Burks. Burks inside. Fall away. Ten footer. Good. Strong shot by Alec Burks. They need that. Five point game. If you haven't yet, give your boy a follow over on Instagram. Trying to grow my Instagram over there. I'll put the link in the chat. Everybody that gives me a follow, I'm going to be giving a shout out as that's going to be a foul on Josh Hart. Foul on Josh Hart. As Ty Dubs says, let's go Knicks. I'm with you. I'm with you. I believe this is going to be a shooting foul. It will. Hunter will go to the line. Shout out to my guy, Sakan Niemer, who just followed me. You got to update your profile picture. You still got R.J. Barrett there. Second free throw is good. Knicks down six. Shout out to Sincere, 22-3-3-3. And then Ant from NYC. Shout out to you all for the follow. McBride has it, right wing. And he'll pull it back out, top of the key. Get a screen from Jericho. The help off him. Bogey catches it, weak side. He'll drive, baseline, jumpers up. No good, rebound by Jalen Johnson. What up, 4K? Shout to Roberto, 307 for the follow as well. Bogdanovich has it. He'll throw it inside to Johnson. Johnson goes right at Burks. His point blank layup is good. You're back down by eight. Back down by eight. It ain't a comeback until you take the lead. Burks has it. Right wing guarded by Forrest. He'll pull it out. And now look to drive on him. He drives right side. Has some space. Burks is bumped. He wants the foul. He gets it in. One. Fourth quarter, Alec Burks. He's giving you two clutch buckets. 
Two clutch buckets. Shout out to Iowen Stein Robert. I don't know what I think that's right. Maybe that was an L. Lewinstein Robert. Hope I'm hope I'm not butchering that too much. I know I'm not right though. Burks free throw missed. Ball's loose. Bogey battles for Fernando saves it in the corner. Burks was shooting 90% before he came to the Knicks. I shoot, think he's shooting 60% from the line with him. As an offensive foul, Deuce McBride being a pest on defense. Forrest pushed off of him. It's Knicks ball going the other way. Deuce, Burks, Hart, Jericho, and Bogey are in the game. Eight-second call. That's on me. Eight-second call. What an idiot. Burks will throw it in. He'll get it to Deuce. Deuce guarded at the logo by Forrest. He'll drive to his left. Gets it into the corner. Step back. Faces him up. He's got him on skates. Now they switch Hunter on to him. McBride drives. Kicks. Bogey from the corner. Gets downhill. Swings to Burks. Corner three. In and out. Jericho with the strong offensive board. He gets it out to Hart. Hart to McBride. McBride to Burks. Open three. Missed it. Jericho with the putback stuff. Four point game. Come on, Knicks. Forrest has it. Gets a screen from Fernando. Get, drives downhill. Gets it to him. Bruno up and in. Six point game. 9.15 to go. McBride gets it to Burks right side. He'll be guarded by Bogdanovich. Has space. Gets downhill. Burks layup. Missed it. Rebound by Sims. Out to Bogey for three. Fucking airballed it. Hart saves it, and he throws it right to Hunter. Deuce ripped it, but they're going to call a foul. I mean, Burks missing open threes. Bogey missing open threes. These Detroit boys are fucking us right now. Look at Jericho Sims battling, man. Six-point game. Not just under nine minutes to go. Murray will now control the rock for Atlanta. Deuce will try to guard him. Here comes the screen. Murray uses it. Good contest. It's going to go out of bounds. Nope. Hart saves it. And they're going to say out of bounds off the Knicks. McBride wants a challenge. I thought Murray was out of bounds when he touched it. As Hunter will throw it in. He'll get it to Murray. Ten on the shot clock. Move your feet. Keep your hands high. Murray all the way at the logo. Five to shoot. Sizing up McBride. Blow by. Kick into the corner to Hunter. Josh Hart not playing defense. And then Hunter just throws it down Jericho Sims. Josh Hart, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not guarding anyone. He's just lazy. What is he doing? The guy is four feet from the ball. Why are we trying to jump a pass with three seconds left to allow a baseline dunk? That's terrible IQ and defense from Josh Hart. DeAndre Hunter always kills the Knicks. Every time, man. Back down by nine. Another fake comeback. This team is fucking annoying. Burks, pull up three. Missed it. Offensive Great rebound shot. for Sims. Out to Bogey. His three. Missed it. Maybe those guys are just losing, losing basketball players. And then a defensive three seconds on Boyan Bogdanovich. Maybe he's just a loser. Maybe he's just a loser. Motherfucker missing open threes and then getting called for a defensive three seconds in transition. Burks and Bogey, 10 of 29 tonight. Oh, never mind. What's the call? Bogey with the free throw, and he'll knock it in.
I'm not sure what the call was there. Oh, Matthews got. Teed oh, Matthews up. was teed up. So eight point game. Atlanta has it. Offensive foul. Deuce McBride again draws it. I feel like he's drawing five of those tonight. Deuce McBride, Precious Achua, and Jericho Sims have played their asses off tonight. Can someone else step up? What about you, DiVincenzo? What about you, Josh Hart? What about you, Boyan Bogdanovich? Fucking do something. McBride has it. Gets a screen from Bogey. Now get a screen from Sims. Guarded by Hunter. Shaking, baking. Gets into the lane. Kicks it out to Hart. Seven on the shot clock. Hart hands it off to Chenzo. Chenzo rips through. Gets downhill. And he's blocked by Fernando. Sent into the backcourt. 24 set, four shot clock violation. Dante DiVincenzo. Got that shit swatted. Just a soft take. They're tired. They didn't play last night. Get in better fucking shape. God, you got... Do, do, do y'all like... What do you... I'm not going to go get into that. It's embarrassing. Murray has it. Guarded by Hart. Face him up. Gets to the foul line. He'll take a fall away. No, poked away by Bogey. Goes into the backcourt. Five to shoot. Knicks have to play defense. Sadiq Bey's going to have to launch a three. He does. Shot no good. Rebound by Hart. Here they come. Hart bringing it up. Gets it to Dante. Dante out to Hart. Open three. Good. Hart knocks it in. Five-point game. Do the Knicks play more games than anyone else this year? I don't think so. Okay. They played 82 this year? Pretty sure. Okay, Hawks are going to play 82? I think so. Okay. Are the Hawks tired? I don't know. They don't look tired. Okay. Josh Hart already on triple-double watch again. 11-7-6 for the man out of Nova. Jericho's, Jericho was a difference in the fourth right now. If they would have just converted on a couple of those wide open threes he was getting on, man, I mean, this would be a game. I mean, it still is a game, but the Knicks may have the lead. Six offensive rebounds for Jericho. Jericho's played his ass up. Jericho's played his ass off. Yeah, him and, uh, him and Precious is really impressed. Precious, Deuce, and Jericho have played their ass off. Also, Deuce defensively tonight has been awesome. Yeah, no, like Deuce has been great. Like, drawing offensive fouls, getting the, like, under Murray. I mean, Murray's 3 of 10. Hasn't really done much. We got 1,100 people watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're on our way to, I think, 36,000 subscribers. We're about 250 away. I know there's probably 250 people watching that are not subscribed. So let's do this. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me in the chat. And let's see if we can get that number to jump up here real quick. Subscribe for free, informative, entertaining content every day on your New York Knicks. We're live for every single game day. There's a reason that over 11,000 people have, not, have already tuned in tonight. Number one place on YouTube to enjoy a live game with diehard Knicks fans. If you're subscribed, type me. Shout out to Julian. Mike Creed says if we had him, we would 3P. Fournier, LOL. CPJ, Joey DeLuca, Kit Neal, Mike Moore, Charles, Jacob, Zucky, Alfred, Philip, Chief, Sammy, Stax, Frankie. What up, Frankie? Cheppy. Nick says me on four accounts. Real one. Shout out to him. Shout out to Brody. What's up, Brody? Busta. Busta. What up, Brody? I am Jules. It was me. That was... That's funny. That's funny. I'm with you, bro. No excuse, but with all these injuries, these dudes may be tired from crazy rolls. Pressure Chua doesn't look tired, and he's leading the NBA in minutes. Is he really? In 2024, I believe Pressure Chua and Josh Hart are at the top of the minutes boards. Um, he doesn't look tired to me. Nope. Get in better shape. I'm sorry. I, I don't get – I don't – if it's not a back-to-back, -back, I don't want to hear about tired. They're, they're NBA players, even if it's a back-to-back. -back. Like, 
Murray, foul line jumper, good. Rises up over Dante and knocked it down. McBride will bring it up the right side. Oh, he put Matthews in a freaking blender, and he's fouled at the rim. We'll go to the line for two. Is this score right, 95-88? Yeah. Okay. I just didn't see it change once, that, once Murray made that bucket. Maybe they just, you changed it maybe super fast. And they changed it super fast. Hart will throw it, and it's Hart, McBride, Jericho, Bogey, and Dante. How about a fourth quarter from DiVincenzo? Drives to the lane, creates separation, baby jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, though, by Hart, who swings it to Deuce. Knicks will recollect with 10 on the shot clock. Deuce has it left wing, gets into the lane, out to Hart, Hart to Dante, back to Hart, Hart three, good! Josh Hart, he's woken up, and he's ready to play basketball. Four-point game. Come on, defense. McBride guarding Murray. Murray moving and grooving. Kicks it to Johnson. Johnson to Matthews. Ball stolen by Deuce, but it goes out of bounds. Great active hands from McBride. He's everywhere tonight. Four-point game. Four-point game, six minutes to go. The starters are back in for Atlanta. Murray will get to throw it in. He'll get it to Bogdanovich. And the, no, he actually gave it to Capella. Capella, top of the key. Why did Dante help off Capella to allow Murray to shoot a three? Is he fucking brain dead? What are you doing? Capella doesn't shoot threes. Did you read the scouting report? You're going to leave a guy shooting 40% from three to go guard the center 24 feet away from the basket. Josh Hart missed the three on the other end. McBride bats it away. Murray collects his three, no good. Sadiq Bay with the offensive board drops it off to Capella. Good defense by Jericho. Kicks it out to Sadiq. Sadiq in the corner, guarded by Bogey. Gets it to Murray. Murray now guarded by Bogey. Gets into the middle of the lane, goes up with it. Shot is short. It's going to be a shot clock violation. That's defense. That's defense. Seven point game. Five and a half to go. You're running out of time. McBride will bring it up. Hands it off to Hart, who swings to Bogey. Hands it off to Dante. And then Dante DiVincenzo throws it away. This is the worst game of basketball I have seen from a player in the NBA in my life. And Dante DiVincenzo. This is horrible. Dante DiVincenzo is fucking the Knicks tonight. Must be tired. Also, Precious hasn't played yet. In the Precious is not playing in the fourth. I heart checks in for Jericho. Bogdanovich tries, gets to Capella, and he's fouled by Bogey. I mean, just bonehead plays from Dante. Capella's free throw, no good. This man helped off Murray to go guard Capella 24 feet away from the basket to leave Murray wide open to shoot a three. Like, why? Why, why, why? Capella, second free throw, good. Eight-point game. McBride. Has it. Right wing. Guarded by Bogdanovich. He's got some space. He'll drive into the lane. Takes a tough contested shot. That's not a good offensive possession. That's not a good. It's, get, it's getting early here. It's getting late here early. Hawks in the bonus. Capella at the line.
His first free throw, good. Back down by nine. Back down by nine. Second free throw, good. McBride drives, swings to Bogey, his three. Good! Big time shot by Bogey to cut it to seven with four and a half to go. It's now or never. It's now or never. Murray will control. Started by Deuce. Going to get it to Johnson and back to Murray. 12 on the shot clock. I'll get a screen from Capella. Dribbles to the left. Deuce stays in front. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Murray ball poked away by Deuce. This is excellent defense. Five to shoot. Murray rises for three. It's going to be an air ball, but an offensive rebound by Capella up and in. I Hart just looked like a bitch on that play. You just waste 23 seconds of Deuce fighting his ass. Isaiah off. Hardenstein is terrible. McBride pull up Jay, no good. No legs now. And that's going to be a fast break run out. Oh, stolen by Hart on the other end. Nine point game, 3.30 to go. DiVincenzo will bring it up. Gets a screen from Ihart. He's in the corner. He'll give it to Bogey. Bogey drives, has some space, throws it into the corner, pass deflected, almost stolen. 10 on the shot clock. Ihart has it, hands it off to McBride. McBride, three. I'll say it again. I heart, if you're hurt, sit down. You're hurting this team. Also, the stones on Tibbs did not play precious at all in this fourth quarter. After no doubt his best three-quarter stretch with the Knicks. I mean, Hardenstein's going to play more minutes than Precious, and Sims is going to play more minutes than Precious tonight. Yeah, I don't I don't understand Precious not being in there. Another shit game from Tom Thibodeau. Another shit game for Tom Thibodeau. So Nick's putting up 45 threes already. Another terrible game from your head coach. Not giving your team a good shot to win. I just really don't get that. I mean, clearly Precious was – I mean, he dominated that third quarter as well. How do you go back to Hartenstein when you're taking Sims out? I, I can maybe see starting Sims for the first four minutes, but – that Precious look good. I hope not, OG. I hope that's not the case. I just don't get it, man. Why no precious WB? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Your coach, your, your coach has lost you a couple games here. You've quite literally been one of the worst teams in the NBA since the start of February. You went 4-8 and eight in the month of February. Um, maybe we were blinded by how good Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle are, and we go back to square one of, Tom Thibodeau. Stubborn, 
stuck in his way, non-creative, bad game management coach. I'm sorry, it's what he's been his whole career. Um, and here we are again. Gene says playoffs all about adjustments. That's why he's never won one. A little harsh, but I do agree. I think Tibbs is, is not a good in-game adjuster. I've said it a couple of times. I, I, I don't think Tibbs can win a championship as a head coach. I don't. Very long time out here. I'm trying to figure out what they're what they're doing right now. I mean, this has been the longest timeout I've ever seen in my life. There's literally a four minute timeout. Still a timeout here as we're back. Atlanta has the ball. It's going to be DeAndre Hunter up top, drives to the lane, layup up and in through the foul, and that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Knicks will be down 11 with three minutes, and it's over. It's over. Another fake comeback. Another fake comeback for the Knicks. Free throw, no good. DiVincenzo knifes in for the board. Three minutes to go. Knicks down 11. DeAndre Hunter with 22 points tonight. McBride has it left side. Gets it to Bogey. Bogey up top. Guarded by Capella. He'll take a step back three. Tough shot. Missed it. Rebound by Atlanta. Murray will walk it up. Guarded by Hart. Uh, oh, good thing Presh that you was set to check in with two minutes and 30 seconds left. Tom Thibodeau, you're a fucking idiot, man. You're a fucking idiot. Sadiq Bay, jumper, good. Night, night. Night, night. Knicks down 13. Struggling to score 100 points again. Hart kicks to McBride. McBride to even Chenzo. Chenzo looking to drive baseline. Kicks it. Bogey, three. No good. Las Vegas had the Knicks favored in this game, if anyone was curious. And you're about to lose by 20. About to lose by 20, and you were favored in this game. I guess Vegas didn't factor in that, you know, your team was tired. Timeout, Atlanta. Knicks down 15 with 150 to go. Knicks are what now a half game out of the plan? They will be let's see if Miami hangs on, they're playing yeah, Miami's gonna win. Indy's up on Dallas at half. Philly's in a barn burner with Brooklyn right now. If you Yeah, you're gonna be a half game. Okay. Knicks are a half game out of the plan. Yes, I'm fucking concerned. Yes, I am concerned. I am worried. also not just playing. I mean, it's that eight seed, too, where that playing game, if you do get there, you're going to be the on the point? road. What's the point? Playing Boston round one. Yep. What's the point? 
DiVincenzo throws it in the corner. Josh Hart, three, no good. Oh, pressed to Chua back in the game. Thanks, Tibbs. DiVincenzo, three, finally made one. Some good makeup. A little makeup here on this, on this loss, trying to make it look a little better. Fuck, you made that, or stat line's still terrible. But. Murray up top. Drives, pull up jumper, good. Yep, probably should have traded for him. Probably should have traded for him. But now you wanted to keep those first round picks for the mystery player. DiVincenzo drives, kicks it to Bogdanovich, who moves it to Hart. Hart has it, step back, three. Not even close. And that'll do it. The Knicks will lose to the Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young. Came into this game favorited, and you're going to lose by double digits. Um, I'm losing all confidence in this team. I'm losing confidence. Johnson throws it up, and Capella throws it down. Chenzo. Oh, Dante DiVincenzo, three. Thanks for uh, thanks for the the meaningless points, brother. Johnson gets it to Bay, and Bay throws it down on Josh Hart and the foul. You're down 16 to the fucking Hawks with no Trey Young. As we're just dribbling the ball out now, McBride three, no good, rebound by Atlanta, and that will do it. That will do it. Knicks lose by 16 to the Atlanta Hawks at home. No Trey Young. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Ugly gang TV, I feel you. Um, but the Knicks were still favored in this ball game, and the Atlanta Hawks are a bad basketball team. Right now, we're a bad basketball team as well, as you are 5-9 and nine in your last 14 games. You are what your record says you are, and the New York Knicks have been a bad basketball team for the last 14 games. They're 5-9. and nine. They're 5-9. and nine. I'm with you, Alyssa. I miss Jalen Brunson. Um, but and they, they got played off the court against the, the Warriors with Jalen Brunson. So and it goes a little bit deeper than this. And I think to just think that when Brunson and Randall and OG show back up and it's going to switch like that, I, I don't know if that's, that, that's the type of line I want to I wanna, I wanna think about. Uh, put a lot of pressure on those guys. Yeah, they make a lot of money. They're your best players. But for it to go from that, for go from being one of the worst teams in the NBA 
as you're five and nine over the last 14, to think you're going to jump back up to being one of the best teams in the NBA. Uh, I hope you're right. I hope you're right, but I don't have much confidence right now in this team. That's the thing, OG. It's not going to be an instant switch. And right now, the Knicks are a game out of the play-in, and there's only 19 games left in the regular season. I don't know. Thrift by nature, we will not miss you, brother. We will not miss you. It's okay, bro. CPJ, that just might be what it is, man. Just got to admit it, we were stuck until healthy. Exactly, William Burton. It's going to take time, and time's on our side. Time's on our side, man. It is what it is. Um, let's talk about it. The New York Knicks lose 116 to 100 to the Atlanta Hawks at Madison Square Garden. The New York Knicks are now five and nine, uh, five and nine. Yep, in their last 14 games, uh, man, they got to get it together. I understand injuries happen, but injuries were also a problem for the Atlanta Hawks. They were without Trey Young. I know you're without Brunson. I know you're without Mitchell Robbins. I know you're without OG. I know you're without Julius Randle. But at the end of the day, you have been one of the worst teams in the NBA in the last 16 games. Um, so that's just the fact of the matter. And I think Tom Thibodeau has also been one of the worst coaches in the NBA in the last 14 games. How does pressure that you are not playing the fourth quarter tonight when he was your best player for the first three quarters? How do you continuously start a starting lineup that features pressure that you and Isaiah Hartenstein after you've scored 19 points in the first quarter? You had eight points in the first eight minutes of a first quarter, and you started out 14 to nothing against the, Wash, uh, against the Golden State Warriors. I know Tom Thibodeau is asked to do a lot right now with a very limited roster, but he is not giving his team the best chance to succeed whatsoever. His lineups, his rotations, and pretty much everything in between have been subpar. And look, it, it's getting early. It's, get, it's getting late early for the New York Knicks. I understand injuries are where you're at, and you're probably stuck where you are until injuries happen, uh, and the, until the injuries come back. But, man, oh, man, I am extremely worried. I am losing all confidence in this basketball team. And Isaiah Hartenstein, I applaud you for your warrior-like mentality. I applaud you through playing, playing through the pain and the injuries. You're hurting this team. I'm not going to call it selfish, but you're hurting this team. Um, don't play. If you're hurt and it's affecting how you can play and bring a positive flow to the game, don't play. He's hurt and you're hurting the team. Go get better. Dante DiVincenzo. Um, maybe his worst game is a Nick. 29% from the field. 29% from downtown. Turnover after turnover after turnover. Low IQ plays from him all night long. Like, I don't mean to nitpick, but there were so many plays where it was just like, bro, are you high? Like, I don't understand what he was doing half the time. He went to help in the fourth quarter when it was a game. He went to help off DeJounte Murray to guard Clint Capella 30 feet away from the basket 
to leave DeJounte Murray wide open for three, and of course he made it. 17 threes? How about you take a good shot? Like, yeah, and you were really three of 15 from three. You hit two threes in garbage time. I love DiVincenzo. Um, he needs to be better. Josh Hart was good for a half of basketball. He quite literally did not show up in the first half of last night's loss. Um, he turned it up in the second half. But, like, guys, you start down 14 over the Warriors. You're climbing from behind against the Pelicans. You start off down what? It, it was 10 to nothing again against the Hawks tonight? Like, team's not good enough right now to, to, to fight from behind every single game. That's why you ended up losing by 16 to an Atlanta Hawks team that you were favored to win as they did not have Trey Young in your home building. <sighs> Man, um, I'm fucking worried. You're game out of the play in. Half a game. Game or a half a game, depending on how some games sh shake out. Are you concerned with the Knicks? If, if your answer is yes, you're probably thinking they're just going to flip the switch when they get back healthy. Um, I don't know how that's going to happen. I I'm fucking sh I'm concerned. I am concerned. You weren't even competitive. Like, you got beat by 16 by the Hawks. They're a terrible basketball team. Like, terrible. They didn't even have their best player. I think we didn't trade for that guy. Nah, you got his boy on Bogdanovich and Alec Burks. <laughs> Alec Burks, bruh. Alec Burks. And you got the Magic next. And you haven't beat him once this year. Powell Bancaro may go for 40. Boyan well, Bogdanovich, terrible. Terrible. Um, missing big shots. Getting cooked on defense. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know how you could be positive about this team right now. It's They look broken. Yeah, they fought. They had a fake comeback in them. Um, nobody's better at a fake comeback than the New York Knicks. <sighs> you lose to the Magic. Then you got Philly back-to-back. -back. You could be the 11th seed by this time next week. Or 10th seed. It's, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I don't know, man. I don't feel good about this team at all. Uh, shout out to Prize Picks, though. Today's sponsor, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Just because the NFL season is over with does not mean you should stop playing Prize Picks. The basketball season is heating up with the NBA playoffs around the corner and the March Madness tournament almost here. Pick more, pick less. Play prize picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. As bad as the Knicks are in a hole talent-wise when they play these games, um, the, their coach isn't giving them much of a chance. Uh, it's time to change the starting lineup. You run the double big lineup for two reasons, of Achua and Hartenstein. Three reasons. Defense, I'll call it two reasons. Defense as well as rebounding the basketball. You were out-rebounded by the Hawks, and you allowed 56 points in the paint. You allowed 116 points to the Hawks, and you started two bigs. And you barely scored 100 points again. It's not a hard game. Whoever scores the most points is going to win, and you're trying to do it with two centers on the floor. And then when one of those centers in Precious Achua plays his best game of the season, you don't play him in the fourth quarter. You play a hurt I heart who looked terrible again. Um, I don't know, guys. I, I, I just don't think that it's going to change overnight. 
when you add Brunson, OG, and Randall. There's 19 games left. 19 games left. Um, and can we stop playing Alec Burks? Can we please stop playing Alec Burks? I mean, this doesn't help you. It hurts you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just are we, are. we are who we thought we were. We are who we thought we were. Um, Jalen Johnson. 26-9-7. Dominated you. DeAndre Hunter. 22-64%. Dominated you. What do you think Franz Wagner and Bruno, uh, Paolo Bancaro are going to do on Friday? Bruno fucking Fernando. Don't tell me we didn't have enough talent. Bruno Fernando, Garrison Matthews, and Trent fucking Forrest. And you lost by 16. Sadiq Bey. Like, Bruno, a guy named Bruno Garrison, and another guy named fucking Forrest just beat you by 16. Get your head out of your asses or you're going to be in the play and play at Boston in round one, and you're going you're gonna to be ready for the NFL draft with no Knicks games on. Tom Thibodeau, do better. Do better. Um, a lot of people thought maybe Tom Thibodeau was coming around as a coach. I think he just had two star players in Randall and Brunson saving his ass. And I don't even like Jake Julius Randall. <laughs> you're a bad basketball team right now. You're 5-9 and nine in your last 14 games. Pick it up or get ready for Cabo in May. We'll see you later. Let's go Knicks. Knicks are the kings of the fake comeback this season. Could not be good. Yeah, I'm with you, Jay Liv. Very concerned when they get their players back. It doesn't automatically mean they're going to be as good as they were January. It'll take time to get the guys back in the flow and line up. Agreed. Yep. I don't think things change overnight when healthy players come back. Plus, you got other teams in the Eastern Conference. They have their they have their dudes playing right now. And they're they going like this. Rest. Yep. Look at the Milwaukee Bucks. Tell you what, a couple months ago, if you would have asked me Knicks Bucks in a series, I would have taken the Knicks chances. But they're starting to peak at the right time. Knicks are going the opposite way. Knicks have two more wins in the eighth seed. Who's to say OG comes back and can shoot the ball as well? Who's to say Randall's going to come back and be good? Yeah. Yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Cavs just beat the Celtics. <sighs> this doesn't look good. Does not look good. Hope I'm wrong. Um, I don't have much confidence in this team right now. We're going to sign off on today's show. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, we'll be back Friday. Hopefully it's not another double-digit loss.